about that. But our group, Philanthropy, received some information. A new Metal Gear prototype was being developed here, and terrorists were planning to raid the facility. The information came from a very reliable source. So you're here to... We're here to stop all that. But I also have a personal motive. Looks like the terrorists have his sister in the big shell. We're here on our own, not under anyone's orders. We have our own battles. Otacon's here for someone. I'm not. This is a military mission. Jack, are you all right? Just barely. You almost gave me a heart attack. Sorry, it wasn't intentional. I know that, and I know I need to stay stronger. Say a prayer for me, Rose, so I can come back. You will make it back. I'm with you all the way, remember? That means a lot to me, you know. I'm going to save the data, okay, Jack? Definitely not. Colonel, Metal Gear's already gone active. It's not too late. You can still prevent a nuclear strike by securing the president and preventing password confirmation from taking place. Get to the president. He's in the core section of Shell 2. I'm checking the satellite images. Looks like you can get to the core from the other side of Strut L. The core hasn't gone under yet from what we can tell. Follow the railings down, then jump onto the pipes. The only viable strut in the outer perimeter is the L. That attack just now doesn't make any sense. It's like they have no more use for this place. Colonel, you were monitoring the codec calls. That man was the real snake all along. Maybe. Maybe? Don't let your guard down with him. Why do you say that? Because they were never a part of the simulation. They're an unknown factor. You can take your simulation and... We're out here, we bleed, we die. Calm down. I suggest that you do, Raiden. Even if that is Snake, that has no bearing on your mission. Colonel, you and Snake used to be on the same side. I don't understand. I read about you and Snake in In the Darkness of Shadow Moses. I don't give a damn what that piece of trash said. Do you get me? Don't ignore me. <laughs> That's lying. Don't ignore me. It just hangs up in his face. Oh, they're trying to sex to me. Yeah, Bryden didn't actually read in the darkness of Shadow Moses. He he looked at the pictures. And he wasn't paying attention when he played the game. Which explains why he doesn't know shit. This is not a pretty sight. Hurry up and check the situation. Kinda just wanna shoot these guys in the face. Do some drugs first. Hmm. Huh? Uh, that's not the face, but it'll work. But fear not, because piss day has finally come. Yeah. Piss day is right here. Nicky Tan, thanks for the 24 months. That wasn't his knee either. That was something else. <laughs> oh, I fucked up. Jack, what's going on? Answer me! Jack! Jack! <laughs> it's funny because he's about to fall down. It's like freeze frame. <laughs> yep, that's me. Might be wondering how I could find myself in this situation. Alright, peace day is finally here. With the inferior piss from Blue Point's infinite wisdom, removing the piss particles on the camera. Never for forget. What? I'm going to go in my pants. Nobody's looking, right? Hmm. But why?
See, there's no piss particles on the camera itself. Which we would have if we were playing the original. The blue point gave us inferior piss. The enemy, definitely not. Right, my sympathies. Sneaking missions are called wet words for a reason, no after all. Don't worry Get about it, real. Jack. It's okay. Hose? That is, I as long much. as you take a shower the second you get back. Do we have a deal? How self centered. <laughs> I want you. Can actually interrupt this piss. Hmm. By making noise. I'm going to go in my pants. And then he starts again. <laughs> I don't think there's really any way to get him up there from maybe with like the stinger or something. I had pisses last that long before. By driving for six hours without stopping to piss. And then finally when you do take that piss. Yeah, it's oh, a guy God. like that. <laughs> it shall one. My father had some unfinished business with him. Olga, calm yourself. change the plan because of your personal feelings then screw your plan i've been waiting for this day for two years and i will send him to the bottom of the ocean right next to my old man the launch comes first damn it where is also at not here i don't trust him don't talk that way about one of your own he's not one of my own he left my father to die, remember? Olga, we'll talk later. We need to get started on the final checks for the unit. All right. I'm headed back there. The upper connecting bridge to Shell 1 is down. What about the chopper? The cam off is out of action. Take the oil fence from Strut L. I'll tell my men to start pulling out. Not yet. Their retrieval comes last. The intruder's still at large. Snake. What about the other man? He's got luck on his side, certainly. He survived that explosion. Listen, Olga, the code confirmation is in one hour. Keep the president alive until then. I know. No one gets in here. Turn the currents on. Of course. Uh, I've yet to try that mod. The free camera, High voltage but, currents on. but I always say it's it's as impressive as it is useless. The manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room, and it's no job for bare hands. All right, come back immediately. One more thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course, that was part of the agreement. We start living for ourselves after this. If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. Gerlukovich soldiers are the cream of the crop. Cream of the crop, it's pulling out. What, what are you talking about? Rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again one last time. Don't try anything on us. The feeling is mutual. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything all right? No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. 
Any suggestions? Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. Right, but make sure you don't hit the president. The president is wired with nanomachines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. So that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. Understood. Locate a remote control missile launcher first. Biggest plot hole in the series. If the walls have a built-in radio shield, how am I supposed to maneuver a radio-controlled missile in there? Come on, really? <laughs> and it's not even a lie, because you are unable to call anybody in the room. That's true that there's a radio shield. Hmm. Colonel, B1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. Uh, swimming isn't my strong point. It wasn't a part of the VR training either. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Whatever! Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left stick. Up will take you up, down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. Here comes the voice change again, not because of the AI, but because they re-recorded those lines like 10 years after the game came out. No. Because you can't say analog stick on the HD version because of um, Xbox friends, I guess. Yeah, some lines will sound off like that. Anytime that there's a direction involved. You have the remote controlled missile. Good job. Now head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Take out the power source and make contact with the president before the launch code can be reconfirmed. Hurry. Uh-oh. Capture card. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we managed to avoid screaming. Damn. It's not funny because I haven't streamed in a while. Stay here indoors, no problem. Wake him up. I'll take that. Let's see which direction he decides to go. Most likely I'm gonna have to fire another missile. Because the president's kind of an asshole. What are you doing? Oh, he went the other way. Nice. I do like how he does different things based on the difficulty level. The point where he will literally backflip away from your missile on easy difficulty, so that you don't accidentally hit him. President Johnson! Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit isn't exactly standard. I'm pretty sure the whole game is 60 issue. FPS, unless you're playing the Vita Are you version. Alright, sir. Which kind of fails is this it. some kind uh, of portable joke? 
I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you... Oh. Hmm. What the... You're... a man? Hmm. Well, who are you? Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But why stoop to terrorism? I wanted absolute power. But you're the president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? Huh? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the patriots rule this country. No. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The space defense, income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Think about it. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. Your office? The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Huh. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... You'll understand someday. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? Picture a massive political vacuum, a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle, panic, civil war, chaos. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. 
When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses. That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocela, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Hmm. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him, bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovich's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? The completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the only chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire Big Shell facility is the new Metal Gear. What'd you say? No, I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? That's right, Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced? The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-metal gears are guarding a metal gear. Ironic, isn't it? That's not all. Arsenal gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In short, Arsenal was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No, you're not seeing the full picture. Hmm? Arsenal gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control, 
The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. In short, the Arsenal system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. I had hoped to seize the project from them so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my way into their ranks, but Solidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community, is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating Arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. I thought the levels below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. This is card four. It'll give you access all the way to Emma's location. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, shell one core. She'll know how to load the program into the main system. A virus? That's right, modeled after fox dye. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe. And Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Now, kill me. What the? There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Uh, do it! That's your role! Uh, oh. No! Judge! That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or is it ex-president? The president! Why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will, there is no difference between submission and rebellion. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. What are you... Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order as your commander-in-chief. I'm counting on you. <sighs> hey, Kevin G, thanks for the six months resub. Kukura with the five months and Heavy Lifted with the 26 months. Thanks, guys.
All right, let's do a quick body search, just in case he has something. Oh, okay. He died peacefully, though. I always like to look at his face. <laughs> Should probably be an emote. What is that? Not how you do a body search? Damn, I've been doing it wrong my whole life. So here we're about to see the wrong the picture. Thanks to Blue Point again. Sorry to hear that. Where do we go from here? When Snake talks Your about the tanker, the it shows you the generic picture for Ray threat. instead of the one However, you took. The recent turn of events, like it used to be in the original. The president's last directive. You must put a stop to Arsenal gear once and for all. Do you actually think there's any truth to his story about this big shell facility being a front for Arsenal gear? I don't have the security clearance necessary to verify the facts. However, he was the president. I'm sure he knew what he was talking about. Aren't you forgetting that he was part of the terrorist plot? All the more reason why I believe his information is reliable. Huh? We're talking about a man who chose to die rather than risk a nuclear holocaust. Thanks to his sacrifice, the Nuclear Launch Authority has shifted to the Vice President, effectively eliminating the terrorist threat. Colonel, when you put it like that, it almost sounds like I should have assassinated the President to eliminate the threat. That was not my intention. I was trying to point out that there is certainly some credibility to the words of a man who chose death to protect the innocent. The Colonel has a point, Jack. What about the information he gave me on the Patriots? That's a new one on me. I'll see what I can find out. Raiden, we're running out of time. Find Emma. She's supposed to be located on level B1, in the core of that building you're in, right? You've got to find her before Arsenal becomes fully operational. Hurry, Jack. It's up to you to make sure that the President didn't sacrifice his life in vain. Understood. Raiden, out. What's your status, Raiden? Snake, the President, he's been assassinated. What? There was nothing I could do. What about the nuclear strike code sequence? He died before his vital ID could be reconfirmed. Then the enemies lost their nuclear strike capability. But that Ocelot guy obviously killed the president on purpose. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They had to know that they couldn't launch the nuke if they killed the president. Maybe there's a way to launch without reconfirming the vital ID. Or maybe they found a more effective weapon within Arsenal gear. You knew about Arsenal gear? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me about it? You never asked. Am I correct in assuming you also know that the Big Shell's a front for the project? You mean, did I know that the Big Shell, a fully functional environmental cleanup facility, was designed to camouflage Arsenal gear? Yeah, I did. It's exactly what the President and Ames described, a massive cover story. The good news is that it hasn't really done much in terms of cleaning up the environment, so we won't have to worry about any toxic gas being released if we have to blow the house down. Right. And when did you find out about all of this? It took a while, but we uncovered the info around the time you took out that mad bomber. <sighs> There's no doubt that Arsenal gear is being built here. Then it was all set up two years ago, on that day. All of it. Two years ago? What really happened here? I took these photos two years ago. I know these pictures. They were on the news on several websites. If I remember right, the reporters blamed you for sinking the tanker. That's right. Otacon, me, we were used. We'd hoped that by going public with photos of the new Metal Gear, we could persuade the government. At least that was the plan at the time. I've gone through VR training of the tanker mission before. Yeah? Well, I doubt it accurately simulates the events of that mission. I'd infiltrated the dummy tanker to obtain proof that a Metal Gear was under development. Shortly after I made it aboard, an armed group led by Colonel Gerlukovich raided the ship and gained control. Olga and Ocelot were among the raiding party. Yeah, and him. Who are you talking about? A man that was supposed to be dead. Their target was also Metal Gear Ray. But Ocelot eliminated Colonel Gerlukovich and Marine Commander Scott Dolph, and he hijacked Ray. So we betrayed them? I don't know what kind of deal was going down. All I remember is what Ocelot said at the time. Something like, I'm taking it back. 
Ocelot then sank the tanker along with the soldiers of the Marine Corps. How did you manage to get out? Autocon managed to have a small boat ready for me. That was the easy part. The tough part was not getting dragged down with a sinking tanker. A small miracle when you think about it. It turned out that the whole thing was a setup to lure us. Photos of Snake, taken by the Cypher, were released to the public. In turn, we became the world's most wanted environmental terrorists. It was definitely a move aimed at putting a stop to our anti-Metal Gear activities. But why did they choose Snake? Since the Shadow Moses incident, Snake became sort of a hero. I think the Patriots weren't too happy about that. You knew about the Patriots? Well, yes, to a certain degree. It seems like everyone knows about them except me. They didn't choose Snake to be a hero, so they decided to do a smear campaign. I think the Patriots wanted to make an example of him so everybody would think twice before opposing them. That's it! They set all this up just to nail you guys! No, there's more to it than that. The Marines Metal Gear Ray project, headed by Commander Dolph, was carried out in opposition to the Navy's Arsenal Gear project. To be more precise, the Patriots considered Metal Gear Ray to be a thorn you in their side. You just realized he called him Hence Commander Dolph. Hence they attacked Dolph the dummy tanker and stole Ray. Instead of Ray. Commandant. Oh. They followed this up with the perfect plan. They immediately sent a fully loaded tanker to the same location and sank it. Then set up the facility to camouflage the development of Arsenal gear. And we fell for it. Two more puppets in their show. Colonel Gerlukovich and his daughter Olga? Both fell victim to Ocelot's plot. Was Solidus behind all this? He used Ocelot to get hold of Ray, huh? No, he was underground, keeping a low profile at the time. Then it must be the Patriots. If that's the case, what's Ocelot doing alongside Solidus? Hmm. Forget it. We're wasting time. We can figure this out later. The nuclear strike's been prevented, but Arsenal still has a massive payload of missiles to deal with. Right. If the opposition gets control of those missiles... Raiden, you've got to find Emma. Wait a second. Isn't Emma Emrick? My sister. What's she doing here? You got me. She's a computer whiz who specializes in neural AI and ultra-variable volume data analysis using complex logic. How she got involved in weapons development is beyond me. Hmm. Whatever her reasons, we need her in order to stop Arsenal. Raiden, find her. Why don't I'm on you my do way. it? <laughs> so I forget what difference is, it's subtle, it's like a military definition between Commandant and Commander. But on the tanker, he's definitely referred to as Commandant. And now, Otacon called him Commander. So, somebody messed up somewhere. Probably another translation thing. Styles, thanks for the 87 months. The shell is fake, in which it's not really doing much in terms of cleaning the environment or the waters. But the oil spill definitely did happen. In fact, I think it's an optional call where Otacon says something like, I think they're having replacement crude oil being shipped to, to replace the stuff that they clean up. There's some cleaning going on, but not nearly as much as it should be. I don't know, Montessor's description doesn't seem very, uh, reliable. It might be that Kappa in his message.
position and rank. Oh, so maybe you can be both. Raiden, are you reading me? This is Atacon. What's your situation? Wet and miserable. This place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I see. Listen, there's something I have to tell you about EE. E. Don't worry about her. I'll get her out. She's afraid of water. What? Yeah. When she was six so years I guess he old, could be she both. almost drowned with my father in our swimming pool. Mm -hmm. She can't swim? Well, yes and no. We used to swim a lot together when we were kids. In fact, she swam like a fish until that day when she almost drowned. When the accident happened, I was in my room. I learned later that E.E. E. was calling me for help. She didn't doubt for a minute that I'd be there. You could see the pool from my room, but I didn't realize at the time that she needed my help. What were you doing? I... I was... So Emma survived... I was balls ball. deep in my stepmom, yeah, Raiden. But my father didn't. So you blamed yourself and left your family? No. E.E. E. seems to believe that was the case. The fact is, I betrayed her. And you think she can't swim because of the traumatic experience? I haven't seen her since that day, but yes, I think so. I got a letter from Julie, her mother, after they moved back to England. In her letter, she mentioned that E.E. E. couldn't swim anymore, that she refused to even wear a bathing suit. Damn, if she still can't swim, we're in trouble. Level B1 in the core is pretty much flooded. Look, maybe you can help her overcome the trauma. You want me to help her get over it? Well, it's still gonna take some time to repair the cam off. Sorry, kid. Emma's rescue is up to you. <laughs> Thanks. An underwater mission. Well, this is a first. Look, I'll see what I can do. I suggest that you drum the map of the building into your head, because you won't have time to look at it when you try to bring Emma out. I'm counting on you, Ryan. <laughs> I covered most of the core when I had to take out the C4s. If there's anything you need to ask me, call me on the codec. I'll do that. I could see that. Otacon's stepmom trying to seduce him. He says, This is just like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> hey, you're not wrong. <sighs> the hell is wrong with Emma's mom, anyway? What a slut. Maybe she was just trying to get back at Hue, in which case, understandable. Still ticking, huh? Quick, do like a two minute poll. Should we cheese vamp or not? She served as well as the live bait for the big catch. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Emma's alive? She was some time ago. But the flooding has become quite serious. I wouldn't be surprised if she's a mermaid now. What? Did you really think killing the president would prevent a nuclear strike? Think again! I didn't do it! <laughs> Arsenal is still armed with a purified hydrogen bomb. Purified hydrogen bomb? 85% voted no yes for cheese. Okay. This weapon is capable of heavy hydrogen nuclear fusion using lasers and magnetics. Hope to you like Gorgonzola anyway. 
It was a top secret project initiated by the current president. And Solidus has no idea of its existence. The clean thermonuclear bomb is at an experimental stage and is handled differently. Specifically, it becomes launch capable when Arsenal is activated. A nuclear threat still exists. Six months ago, we lost everything we believed in. We were abandoned to take the fall in their cover-up. We were labeled as killers, responsible for the mass murder of civilians as well as our own allies. And the public believed every word, turning a deaf ear to whatever we had to say to the contrary. Our only goal is to wipe them from the face of the Earth and destroy this world of deceit they have created along with them. You're insane. Insane. Uh, we what? Be the only ones telling A connection truth. error has occurred. What the fuck was that about? Final check for activating Arsenal has been completed. All Arsenal personnel report to your stations. Well, it sounds like Arsenal's ready to go into operation. Damn it! You're still hoping that the girl can install that virus you're carrying around, aren't you? You know? <sighs> it's a shame you're not going to be around long enough to hand her the program. Uh, my PS3 got confused. Yes. It's a byproduct of the microbes contained in the pool. Buoyancy is practically non-existent thanks to the high oxygen content. Once you fall in, you don't come up. Take a good look at your grave. Show me what you've high got. High oxygen content? More like high cheese content. There's several pounds of che cheese. <laughs> Rip FPS. What kind of cheese, Gorgonzola? Of course. Efer's favorite. Majority of people voted for cheese. Oh, I didn't do the Gita finisher. Oh well. apparently completed the final check procedure for arsenal gear find emma on the double you've got to get her to install the virus program that the president gave you when you find her take her to the computer room on level b2 in the core of shell one snake did you catch all that i didn't make it on time arsenal's going active yeah i heard the hostage rescue is gonna have to wait i'm going after emma We'll secure the computer room. Looks like we can't install the virus program without Emma. Can't your partner do it? I would if I could, but the security for this system is no joke. I need more time. That's why we need her. Understood. I'll make sure you have your family reunion. Uh, What's up? A lot of years have passed between E.E. E. and me. Then you should see her, right? I don't have the right to see her. We can talk about this later. Raiden, I think you'd better get moving. Emma's in the locker room to the north, right? I'm on it. This lies of American Gorgon's all on Korean soil. Wow, you like combining the two best Kiefer lights. 
Also, the two key from Ryan Superior, but okay. Got body armor. I'm gonna have a bad time. Well, Vamp can swim in the high oxygen water because... Reasons. He can float on water, he can run on water, so... At the very least, he should be able to swim in and out, too. Don't ask. No, it's not actually nanomachines, it's tape. Remember, from MG's 4. The Vamp call. Adhesive tape. They use this technology. Wow. Are you alright? Who are you? Riding. Precisely. I'm you the out of tape here. on his shoes lets him swim. Get me out. You're lying. Where are you taking me this time? What are you talking about? I'm here to help. Here. I'll prove it. Do you have nanos? What? Well, do you? I do. Everybody on this project has them. Okay, good. Let's try. Can you hear me now? Nano communication? That's right. I have nano machines too. Then you're not one of them. That's what I've been trying to tell you. And you came to rescue me? Actually, I need your help to stop Arsenal. I understand you're the only one who might be able to do it. And who told you that? The president. Really? I need you to come with me to Shell One. Your brother's waiting for you there. My brother? Come on! We have to get moving! This place will be flooded soon. Swim. You used to love it. How do you know? Your brother told me. He's really here? That's right. He's here to rescue you. I don't believe you. He would never come for me. And I'm telling you he's here, waiting for us at Shell One. No! He left me, my mother, when we needed him the most. When my father died, all he could think about was himself. Emma, we can go over all that later. But first, we have to get out of here. No! I hate water! It's hopeless. I can't swim. I can't swim. You can do it. I can't. Come on. Deep down inside, you know you can swim. I can't keep my eyes open in the water. That endless blue. You're a real egotistical the water, woman. It, it wants me. It won't <laughs> let me go. All right. Good. Then close your eyes. Good I'll guide you. I, I, I was injected with something. My legs. I have trouble moving them. Listen, Emma, just hold your breath. I'll do the rest. First, we'll head to filter chamber two. Then we'll take a break. And all I have to do is hold my breath. That's right. How long? Just a little while. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. That's how I got here. I, I don't think I can do it. I'm not good at holding my breath. Look, Emma, I have an idea. Put your ear against my chest and listen to my heartbeat. Your heartbeat? Count the beats. Don't think about anything else. When you reach 100, open your eyes. By that time, we'll be on the other side. Give me a signal if you think you're running out of breath. What will you do then? I'll swim faster. Hang on tight. Okay, let's go. I'm closing my eyes. Take some deep breaths. One, two, three. Wait. 
What is it? Uh, let me take off my glasses. You know, you should wear contacts. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. Hmm? Huh? I wear them for show. Trying to be different from the other girls? No, it's not like that. I like glasses. And there's this guy I liked who used to wear them. Your first boyfriend? No. Somebody more important. <laughs> Key for all the drinks. Anyway, nice. Bring me luck. <laughs> I see. Okay, let's go. Seven Sunny, thank you for the nine months. An effort nozzle with the 39 months. Thank you guys. Uh, let's see. This one's a quick one. <laughs> have a Cuervo. Whack. Actually she shows up in the cutscene anyway. We need to get a Cuervo sponsorship. I'm legitimately gonna try to get a Cuervo sponsorship just you for the means. Good. I don't even drink, but... <laughs> I concentrated on your heartbeat. <laughs> it reminded me of when I was a kid. We should do that. And then find a Christmas tree, yeah. I remember my brother giving me a piggyback ride. I was sleeping with my ear against his back. I could hear his heartbeat. Sounds like you were close. We were, back then. We were stepchildren in our parents' second marriages. Wherever my brother went, I used to tag along. My brother didn't have any close friends, so he used to take care of me. We both wanted to be loved so much. So much that we used to pretend. Pretend? Yeah, we used to play house. My brother was the husband, and I was the wife. But it was always just make-believe. We were only kids. You know what I mean. I never had a family, but I think I know what you mean. Raiden, what's your status? Colonel? I've got Emma Emmerich here. We've managed to avoid drowning. Good job. Get her over to Shell 1 as soon as you can. That's going to be hard with the connecting bridge on the upper level destroyed. Didn't Olga say something about taking the oil fence at the bottom of Strut L? Yeah, I remember that. You should be able to go down by way of Strut L. Try and get over there. What about Emma? She's been injected with something and she can't walk without any help. Take her with you. Free your hands of any equipment and hold down the action button to give her a hand. To release your grip on her. Take your finger off the action button. Emma can sit and wait until you help her back up. And be careful. You won't be able to use any weapons while you're leading her. Now head for Strut L. We're on our way. Raiden, we've infiltrated the computer room. What's your situation? Emma's safe. We're heading your way. <sighs> Good job. Shell 1's deserted. Looks like everybody's aboard Arsenal. I had a look at the system, but there's nothing I can do. EE's our only hope. Right. I'll put her on then. Huh? EE? -E? What? How? I'll use my Kodak as a relay. Uh, <clears throat> Here she is. Uh, how? Uh, EE, -E, is that you? How? EE. -E. Um, why are you involved with Metal Gear? Huh? You knew our family's dark history and still got involved? What's wrong with you? I should have known. Answer me. Why are you repeating the same mistake? I... I wanted to hurt you. I wanted to see you suffer. E.E.? -E? You abandoned me. No, that's not what happened. All right. That's enough. <sighs> Who are you? I'm a friend of Otacon's, Emma. Otacon? 
Enough with the sibling rivalry. That's not what this is. We haven't got time for this. Raiden, get her over here right now. I... I... Gotcha, Snake. I'll head over there with Emma. Most of the enemies aboard Arsenal, but I suggest you be careful. Make sure Emma gets here in one piece. Raiden, take care of my sister. Don't worry. I'll get her there. We'll take real good care of her. Okay, bye. Yeah, I think we might actually need her to go through the door this time. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I forgot if that you counts suck. or not. <laughs> She's awake now. Hey, he bought her leg sinks for the 29 months. Emma, Snake and Hal are waiting for us in Shell One's computer room. I've got this disc that the President gave me. This disc is supposed to contain a virus that can corrupt Arsenal Gear's operating system. We need you to... This is... This is my program. What? Why did the president give it to you? Huh? Did something happen to the president? The president. He's dead. What? You actually wrote this virus? It's not really a virus. It's more like a worm cluster. It's actually a delayed effect autonomous program that's designed to invade GW Cerebrum and render its nerve connections useless. You know what GW is? Of course. I created it. Huh? You look surprised. Uh, well... Cat got your tongue? I'm sorry, I... How about the Patriots? Ever heard of them? Yes, but I only know what I've been told. Can you tell me what you know? Um, sure, but it's hard to put into words. Right. Are you reading me, Emma? Yes, loud and clear. The president said that arsenal gear was the Patriot's key to supremacy. That's as good a description as any. What exactly is it? It's a massive data processing system capable of controlling information on a global scale. A data processing system? That's right. The system's a social device for maintaining the Patriot's control. You've lost me. Well, in this day and age, information emerges from every direction and is freely distributed. A variety of information gathered by servers employing the latest in high-speed communication networks and P2P technology is rapidly circulated to individuals. In fact, the speed of this circulation process is accelerating on an almost daily basis. The Patriots seem to be afraid of this development. Apparently, they believe that their role will shift from dominant to dominated. Huh? But let me give you an example. You're aware of Solid Snake's anti-Metal Gear activities, aren't you? Yeah, I know a little about it. Well, that's just a small sample of uncontrolled information. I can guarantee you the Patriots did not want Solid Snake's name publicized. Now, look at it like this. Political scandal, corporate corruption, up until now, the Patriots have managed to keep a lid on these and other self-serving events. But with their existing data processing system, they're no longer able to effectively control the flow of information generated at the individual level. With the newly created system, they can fully regulate digital information. High-level information can be categorized in stages, given clearance levels, and deleted as necessary, never to be seen by the public. By deleting such information, the Patriots can shape the course of history as they see fit. Somebody's bound to catch on. No, the memory capacity, not to mention the lifespan of the average individual, is extremely limited. On the other hand, digital information lasts virtually forever. It doesn't deteriorate. So? The alphabet. 26 letters, right? It could have been 30 letters. What if the four deleted letters were controlled by a program? Impossible. It's not. In fact, something similar is already underway. Do you know how many genes exist in an individual? About 30 to 40,000? Right. That's what was announced at the turn of the century. But there's actually 100,000 according to the original theory advanced by the scientific community. Information regarding the remaining 60,000 was suppressed by the Patriots. 
No. Why? How would you know? Do you know what a gene looks like? Did you count them yourself? There are research organizations. Of course. And their reports have already been subtly altered. They're even beginning to believe the doctored reports. GW is a system that allows the Patriots to decide what will be recorded in tomorrow's history. So what we're talking about is one huge censorship system for deleting information which might be inconvenient to the Patriots. Exactly. The actual physical core for handling the task, GW, is installed in Arsenal. It's the only system in the world with an optic neural AI that has a parallel processing capacity of 980 trillion hammets. I suppose that being a specialist in neural AI and complex logic played a significant role in your association with the Metal Gear project. That's not the only reason. What do you mean? <sighs> I guess there are plenty of other reasons. Yes, there are. I understand. Do you? So Arsenal Gear was actually designed to protect the GW system, wasn't it? Um, yes. It's armed with everything, including nuclear weapons, and is fully equipped with cyber-terrorist countermeasures. Physically and logically, it's the ultimate fortress for housing GW. But is the AI actually capable of controlling everything? No. GW is only the system's core. It's only for deciding what data is stored or deleted. The actual subsystem for executing the task exists within our social structure. What? Do you remember the panic that gripped the computer industry prior to the end of the century? You mean the Y2K problem? That's right. If you recall, our government supplied the world with a countermeasure program, using the internet at full capacity. The program was distributed to every governmental organization, every key facility throughout the world. In addition, the same program was included in an OS application for distribution among the public. Let me guess. The Y2K countermeasure contained a program designed by the Patriots. Yes, and everything supplied from that day onward contains the same program. Impossible. Do you know how a computer operates? Do you really know the basic principles on how data is exchanged? Uh... Nobody's aware of it, but there's a subsystem in place, and it's about to be activated. Is that why Solidus wants to burn out every electrical circuit in Manhattan with a nuclear blast? Probably, but the overall system isn't actually complete. What? It still lacks the necessary factors for judging situations. I heard they were planning a major experiment in the next few days to provide complex data for GW to study. And suddenly all this happens. Emma, it's not your fault. If it wasn't for the terrorists... Yeah, you're right. Well, I think that's about all I know. Right. Uh, thanks. I think we'd better head for the computer room. <sighs> My bird in the computer room! Is he safe? That noisy overgrown parakeet? Excuse me, he's a parrot. And he's my best friend. My only friend. Well, the bird's okay. Good. Did you know that in the old days, miners used to take a canary into the mine shafts to detect toxic gas? That's what he's for? That would explain everything. I think we'd better get moving. We've got a little longer to cover than the last time. I'll give it my best. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Why not? A dead body, not a pretty sight. Oh. Once we get past it, it'll be too dark to see anything. What are those sticks in your head? These? They're lacquered chopsticks. They hold your hair in place. Did you know that they're pretty popular in Europe and South America? Can't say that I do. You're not only cute, but smart too. Oh, I'm much more than cute. Okay, let's go. The context is a Kiefer was fucking drunk. <laughs> That's what the content is. All right, I actually want to do those calls with Emma and Otacon and Snake. We can do them once we get on the other side here. There's three calls with Emma. Two talking to Otacon, one talking to Snake. And then there's uh, that other call where um, Otacon and Snake call right in a week. Stubborn, simple-minded fool. 
This is a really good cause. Let me talk to Emma. Sure. One condition. No arguing. No problem. Put her on. E.E., -E, is that you? Yes. What do you want? Why did you get involved in weapons development? A lot of people will get hurt. Even more will die. I'm talking about the destruction of homes and cities, radioactive contamination for years to come. You, of all people, should know the horror of nuclear weapons. You know about our family's dark history. Why, E.E., -E, why? You left me. You made my life a living hell. I didn't have a choice. Don't lie to me. The pool, you could never look me in the eye after the accident. You took the easy way out so you wouldn't have to face me. That way you could avoid responsibility every day. You ran. You ran away so you wouldn't have to face the pain. No, that's not why I left. You left me and took the easy way out. That's not true. I left the house because... You're a criminal, just like me. A criminal? I know what you did. You manipulated our account on the network. But... Look at what you're doing now. You're nothing but a cracker. No, I'm just applying my knowledge for the cause. The cause? What cause? Justice? For peace, E.E. -E. I'm not like Snake. I, I can't carry a gun and face the enemy. That's why I do what I do best. Oh, right. Nice justification, Hal. Forget about being a criminal. You'd make a great lawyer. All right already. That's enough. Chad always gets triggered by that call. What's up, Ryden? Uh... Out of my way. Let me talk. You want to talk to Otacon? Yes. I'll put him on. Yeah? What is it? Up to now, scientists have continued to be active participants in war. What's your opinion? There's no doubt that war has been an ideal event that fuels the progress of science. But therein lies the trap. We scientists must establish some form of work ethic. It's a tragedy that both the government and the military act as sponsors to modern science. What are you talking about? The atom and hydrogen bombs were born from laboratories owned and operated by universities and private enterprises. Los Alamos and the Lawrence Livermore Labs were run by universities. There's nothing strange about that. Weapons development and universities. This may come as a surprise, but science requires that information be exchanged freely. You're referring to the will of Professor Oppenheimer, aren't you? For me, science and weapons always existed at different levels. I never thought that my research results would bring about misfortune to others. That was until the Shadow Moses incident. I have no regrets. That's where you're wrong. We scientists know the dangers of a nuclear threat. It's up to us to protect the people. We can't allow it to be exploited by nations or their politics. Man and nuclear weapons cannot coexist. Mere mortals were never meant to handle nuclear fusion. Science defines me. My government respects me. Can you tell me what's wrong with that? Can you? Okay, that's enough. Snake. Let me talk to him. Uh, oh, yeah. Otacon's busy right now. You'll have to settle for me. What? Uh, okay. Right. Now, what do you want? Hal's wrong. Science doesn't exist to benefit the world. Uh, then what is it for? Science is for the individual. For me, it's a way to realize my dreams. It sounds pretty greedy. You can't realize your dreams without greed. And what's your dream? Take revenge on Hal. To beat him in his own game. Revenge? I am gonna make him regret the day he left me. I am gonna make him realize he was wrong. Of all the idiotic. I think that's enough. Idiotic? It's my goal, my reason for being alive. Hal is wrong. He's only being used by his country. He's pitiful. Even you guys are using him. Me? I'm using science to achieve my own dream. Real bright lady. That's exactly the line that scientists are never meant to cross. Right. I sold my soul for revenge. I will never forgive him. I'll pretend this conversation never happened. No. You tell my brother exactly what I said. You... Emma. What? You're speaking your mind, not your heart. 
Just leave it at that. Uh, okay. The rumors about Big Shell being a big cover-up are all true. Otacon? I had Snake check everything out. Sure, there's some facilities to clean up the pollution, but they're not running at full capacity. Don't you think it's funny that even though two years have gone by since the incident, they haven't managed to clean up all the crude oil? Of course, the media doesn't report that kind of thing. I think they're having fresh shipments of crude oil brought in to replace the stuff they cleaned up. The story you were told about toxic chemicals being released if the plant were blown up also seems pretty fishy. I don't think it's actually true. Information is being suppressed on a huge scale. These guys seem to think that the new Metal Gear is worth all the effort and money they're spending on it. So I've been lied to all along. No, I think even your CO didn't know what was going on. And that's probably what he's been telling you. I didn't mean by the Colonel. I meant by you. Huh? We never lied to you. We just didn't tell you everything, that's all. <laughs> you know, you're a pretty interesting guy. You're just like Snake said. What did he say? That you're a weak, simple-minded, stubborn fool. A, a weak, simple-minded... Ah, oh, don't worry. He didn't mean anything bad by it. Nothing bad? Well, what could possibly be worse than that? That lying, useless, backstabbing, mincing son of a... Ryden, I'm his friend. I know him better than anyone else. I know he's not that kind of guy. Yeah, so what? And, uh, by the way, there's one more thing you should probably know about Snake. What? He's right here. Next to you? Yep. Did he hear every word? I'm... I'm just gonna get back to the mission now. Sure you wanna talk shit? I'll have your sister Otacon. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. She's fine. So many bugs, it's from him just V. <laughs> yeah, it's Phantom Pain foreshadowing all the bugs. Oops. We're gonna have one last mo with the next guy. I think that's the last mo in the game. Mo guy, right here. Freeze, Mo. Please don't. Maybe, maybe we should let her heal a little bit. Should 
she sitting down? Yeah, she's generating now. Shit, he woke up. Right, what's going I was on? about to shoot him again. Right. Right. Ah, that's dumb. I'm just gonna kill him. Let her sit here. Fox sound ash for the 99 months. Damn, thank you. We need her to be full health for um, a little something. Come on. Yeah, let's go. How nice of them to fix the walkway here, conveniently, when you had to get back with Emma. Olga trying to sext me. Have to uh, put out the fire. Alright. Now we're in position. Get in there. You good? Ah, you're fine. Wait, no, you're dead. Emma, you okay? Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, sort of. I'm just on fire. Yeah. Okay. I'm playing on PS3. Damn it. What's wrong? This door is security level 5. I don't have card 5. Damn. Giving up already? Ta-da! What the? Are you impressed? You should have told me you had it. Well, the truth is, I just remembered it myself. Damn it, Emma, get with the program. She has card five because Meryl has card five. Also, Meryl says the same thing after the mines. Are you impressed? And then it leads to sniping sections where the girl gets hurt. That works too.
have a question for you. What is it? How do you feel about heights? I can't say I like heights. The water's higher on my phobia list. Why? Well, we have to go down a ladder. How far down? Just a little bit. Why do I feel like we've had this conversation before? How little is little? Mm, about 130 feet. Hmm. Think you can do it? Would you take no for an answer? How are your legs? Better. The numbness is gone. I can climb down on my own. Okay, follow me. Here comes best line. Beautiful. If we don't hurry, it'll be the last we see. If we don't hurry, it'll be the last we see. Enemy soldiers, gun ciphers. I don't think we're gonna be able to slip past all that. Looks like it can barely support one person. How much do you weigh, Emma? Are you gonna ask me how old I am next? If you go alone, I think you can make it across. This is Ryden. Do you read me? Yeah, what's up? We've made it to the lower part of Strut L. We'll have to cross the water from here. Can Emma walk? Yeah, she's okay. The pontoon bridge doesn't look too sturdy. Emma's gonna have to cross it alone. Right. The oil fence. There are ciphers and several guards. Right. You're carrying a PSG-1, are you? Yeah. It's time to play sniper. Not bad. This spot gives me a good view of the targets. You're going to have to cover Emma until she crosses to Strut E. I'll get there and provide some support of my own. Thanks. Think you can handle it? Yeah, I know the drill. I faced a similar situation in advanced mode level 4 VR training with the PSG-1. VR? Uh, guess it's better than nothing. Make sure you don't hit Emma. Right now, with Arsenal's boarding in progress, security should be at a minimum. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Given the situation, they've probably got claymores in place to make up for the security shortage. Make sure you use your thermal goggles. Right. Okay, I'm heading for Strut E. Emma, are you reading me? Loud and clear. I'm gonna clear a path for you from here. How? Sniper fire. You're kidding. Trust me. What if I fall into the sea? I, I can't swim. You were doing pretty good a few minutes ago. Okay. Think you can do it? Would you take no for an That's answer? So cute. No. Bear it. All right, get going. You'll be fine. Emma's 18. You can figure that out if you um, cross-reference a couple calls, some pieces of information in the game. But she's also 18 because Meryl's 18 and I'm just one. What if I fall into the sea? Plop. <laughs> Damn, Emma, I guess she can't swim. Open your eyes. Emma! Emma! Oops. Yes, she was right. Especially if she's asleep. Up. Emma's heat signature through the scope. It disappears except for her ass. Only her ass is hot. 
If you look at her without the scope, it's fine. I think this is more blue point shenanigans. Patriot spies. Right, do you actually enjoy abusing helpless that? animals? Don't I even don't say believe it. this. I had no idea I you were that much. kind of a monster. I don't understand you, right? How do you know that? If you're satisfied, get don't back to the it. mission. Don't even say it. <laughs> Did you see that? You can just stand in the spot where ammo respawns and just have infinite ammo, basically. Aiming is a different matter. Could have used drugs for that. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Let's see, this is bump fire to controller. Got spotted, but by what? Guess that guy. Oh, I was shooting him. Absolutely see a bird get obliterated. There you go. You're few for 95 months. Thank you. Same though. Some snakes lines when he shows up. Mm 
The higher the difficulty, the longer it takes Snake to show up here. Ah, there he is. This is Snake. Can you hear me? Hey, yeah, come on. nice and clear. I've reached my sniping position yeah, on Strut E. I'll provide support fire yeah, for you. Here. Right. Do me a favor and take out whatever I miss. Just call me when you want me to shoot. What? Just a little more. Whew. Just a little more. Ah, shit, we gotta get that cipher. Not bad at all. <laughs> Rugs it is. Come on, say the line. Just a little more. He's not saying it. Not bad. He's not saying it. with Otacon before I ask her out. Here we go. <laughs> nah, I don't really do anything special for, for these all. marathons. They're just pulling all nighter, yeah. That was a headshot. Raiden's absolutely insane skills to keep keep the crosshair on the target. On that rate of fire. Now you're cool, Snake. Okay. over here as soon as possible. I'm afraid her time's running out. I'll be there. over there. Emma seems to be, uh, doing something to GW's defensive capabilities. All we need now is your disc. You'd better hurry. I don't think she's gonna make it. How's the bleeding? She's... Just get over here. You'll find the coast is clear with everybody aboard our ship right now. Understood. Thank you. 
<laughs> There's that guy. What is music? That's what you do in this game, punch people in the dick from behind. A reach round, if you will. <laughs> it wasn't until MGS3 that they had a more advanced animation for getting punched in the ass. Uh, do I want this ammo? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Do a thing with the bugs in C4. It's too good. C4 is completely useless in this game. It's only in this game because it wasn't MGS1. But unlike MGS1, it doesn't serve any purpose in the story as a key item or anything. So instead, what we're gonna do with it, put some C4 where all the bugs are, and if you're looking for a person when there's an explosion, the bugs always end up on your face. But... They actually go through shit as well. But if I if I look there, through this wall... They still end up on my face. And one day I thought, just, just how far... Does it go? So if we go all the way here... We know that... C4 is approximately in that direction. And there's the whole room in between. And sure enough. <laughs> the bugs defy time and space to always end up in your face. Hey, that rhymed. I, I am a poet now. Emma. I think he got some internal organs. We can't stop the bleeding. No, I'm not hunting turkeys. I also kind of don't like shotguns, so... Probably wouldn't be my choice if I were to hunt. I'm here. Got the disc. Emma set everything up. Uh, apparently all you have to do is pop in the disc. That should insert the virus into the AI. Is it working? Just leave it to Emma. What the? An antibody agent? Damn! The connection's been cut. Is the virus upload complete? I don't think so. The count stopped at 90%. Otacon. I don't think Emma's made any mistakes, but... A portion of the worm cluster might have been altered after the disc left Emma's hands. By the Patriots? Will the virus still work? I have no idea. Hal is... Is everything all right? Uh, 
It's all right. Everything's all right. Good. At least I... I won't be adding another page to our family's dark history. Yeah, that's right. What if the virus doesn't work? Either destroy that thing, or take out Solidus and his men. How do we get on board? Hmm. I don't think we can. Unless somebody inside gives us a hand. Hal? I... I always... What is it? That sentence could mean two things. Get your tissues ready. That could mean one of two things. Get your tissues ready for this scene. Hmm. You don't hate me? Never. I never wanted to get in your way. I never wanted to hurt you. I thought that with Arsenal, if I followed in your footsteps, I just wanted you to look at me. Look at me as... as a woman. Hey, hey, hey. I could never do that. Don't be so honest. It hurts. Sorry. Can I... can I ask you one last favor? Sure. What? Please call me Emma. He has one You're last chance to do it. Woman. And he he blew it. He never actually hears him call her EE -E or Emma. He starts exactly the second wrong with e -E? that she dies. God damn it. Now that she's dead. Emma? He starts calling her Emma. Emma? 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 Answer me! Lipton's on the rocks, thank you for the prime sub. Why not Naomi? I Why not both? I didn't leave you. Because of the accident. I had... I had a relationship with your mother. She seduced me. And it went on. <laughs> My father's death was no accident. He took his own life. It was my fault. All my fault. <laughs> Forgive me, Emma. Think of the amount of confirmed sexual partners and different characters have in the series. Otacon has at least two. Bamp has two. Um, I guess Big Boss is three. Who else is three? Attention! Arsenal gear is ready for launch. Evacuate the upper levels immediately. Sounds like they're cutting this area loose. What do you mean? 
Naomi probably has two as well. We have to get the hostages out. <laughs> what about the camera repairs? Done. We won't be able to get everybody aboard. We'll just have to take as many as we can. My sister... won't be able to come with us. We will be commencing the countdown shortly. Personnel in the upper levels, head for the evacuation area immediately. <laughs> he was probably 50. <laughs> I can't think if there's any other I'm character who has survivor. three. Why, Wolf? That's why they call him Big Boss, I guess. Otacon, take care of the hostages. What about you guys? We got other arrangements. Huh? There's our ride out of here. Anyway, we're gonna have to sink that thing if the virus doesn't work. I should be going with you. You've got your job. We've got ours. You mean... I'd only get in your way. Wrong. Only you can save those hostages. Got it? Right. Listen, the two of you won't be able to destroy that thing. Eliminate the enemy, that's your only option. It's a slow walk. With the bird, it still looks epic with the bird somehow. out as you can. It's a short flight to the shore, so don't worry about overloading the cam off. <laughs> Leave it to me. You and I, we were always alone. Always. We only wanted to be loved. We were always waiting. Waiting for somebody. Somebody who would love us, but we were wrong. You can't wait to be loved. You have to go out and find it. Four years ago, I realized that you can't just wish for a happy family. You have to make it happen. I only wish I knew that sooner. I learned that I could love, as you probably did, Emma. You think he's gonna be okay? He's tougher than he looks. Consider it done. Now, how do we open this thing? You can come out now. A ninja? What the? 
arsenal's going to take off. We still need you to take care of a few things. This time, not fail us. Snake, what's this all about? Bedtime riding. I wouldn't do that. You're changing sides now? Change sides? I don't recall saying I was on yours. Damn it. You! Ready for some shut eye. Jack, are you reading me? Do you want to save your mission data up to this point? Not a chance. He might be passed out, but he can still tell Rose to fuck off. In his sleep. Is he still, Is he alive? still alive? He was he when Olga brought him in. I've checked, checked everything, him, including the genome, genome data, data, but there's nothing there's on this guy. guy. NSA, NSA, CIA, CIA FBI. FBI. He doesn't exist. Yeah, you can databases. see those. So what, He's a non-existent emerging from a non-existent organization. I suspected as much. However, I know this man. Hmm? Wake him up. This here is actually him just one footage. That's liquid right there. And then it changes. It's been a while, hasn't it? Jack the Ripper. You know this fellow? You remember me, don't you? You've grown. <laughs> High concentration of cerebral implants. Have they altered your memory, too? <laughs> This is my son. I taught him everything. Jack, I never thought I'd see you again. You know me? You don't remember. Your name, your skills, everything you know, you learn from me. The 80s. A civil war. You were one of the best among the child soldiers that fought in that conflict. When you were barely 10 years old, you became the platoon leader of the small boy unit. At the time, your outstanding kill record earned you several nicknames, including White Devil and Jack the Ripper. Jack, I was your godfather. I named you. When the war ended, you disappeared from the relief center. I wondered what happened to you. I should have known they would recruit you.
It's an interesting coincidence. If he's a lackey for the Patriots, I doubt he knows anything of interest. What should we do with him? We'll use him like you suggested. What about Dead Cell? Ignore them. <laughs> Happening again? Could it be that he's here too? <laughs> In another hour, we demonstrate the power of Arsenal gear. Attack with standard weapons, of course. Yes, proceed as planned. At last report, all is well with GW. Hmm. How about the troops? The men are being refitted with Arsenal gear equipment as ordered. You're the spitting image of Big Boss. <laughs> Is that so? Perhaps I should be grateful to this kid for that. This situation, I find it very nostalgic. Where? Am I? Why, inside Arsenal gear, of course. Actually, we're also inside the memory of Shadow Moses. I'll take this back. You don't need this anymore, do you? A foul wind is blowing. We shall speak again. Don't move. Stay as you are. We're being monitored by a camera. What are you up to? I'm switching over to nano communication. Mr. X? Ninja? Correct. It's me. I thought you were the leader of the Russian troops. No. That was just a smokescreen. A smokescreen? I was sent to provide you support. Support? Who sent you? The Colonel? No. The Patriots. What? I... I deceived my troops. Betrayed them. But why? My child is being held hostage by the Patriots. It all started two years ago when I lost my father during the tanker incident. My men and I had nowhere to go. So we joined forces with an illegal Russian organization. The Russian Mafia? Something like that. Actually, I learned much later that it was a subordinate organization of the Patriots. I was expecting at the time. When I gave birth to my child, it turned out I was in a hospital run by the Patriots. In the morning, my child was gone. My baby is being kept somewhere in this country. Have you ever met your child? No. Once a month, they send me a photo of my child via network. I've never even held the child in my own arms. I see. Given your situation, nobody can blame you for what you did. That's your opinion. What about Snake? I thought you were enemies. He wasn't responsible for my father's death. Actually, we owe him our lives. Two years ago, they were responsible for getting us out of the sinking tanker alive. So you were partners since the incident? No, I only found out the truth shortly before this. Huh? When I confronted him here. You fought with Snake? When? Well, it was around the time you were holding hands with that girl. Snake. So you joined hands with him to pay back a debt? No, mutual gain. Mutual gain? My job was to assist you. If Solidus gets away with Arsenal, your mission is a failure. The Patriots would judge that as failure on my part and terminate my child. Putting it simply, my child's life depends on your success. So you did it all for your child. But why would the Patriots want to help me? Are they hoping I'll take Solidus out? No, you're just like me. We're just pawns. Pawns for what purpose? The S3 plan. Huh? You'll figure it out sooner or later. But I wonder if you'll handle the truth. 
What do you mean? Listen, we haven't got time for this. Saladis will commence his attack any minute. He's got to be stopped. What about the virus? No results so far. I think the Patriots have tampered with the program. Will it work? I don't know. Get me out of this thing. Not yet. I'll release your restraints after I leave this room. Where's my gear? Snake's got everything. I couldn't bring it here. And where do I find Snake? The passageway ahead leads to a hangar. He'll be waiting there. I gave him a card key for the hangar. Does Snake plan to destroy Arsenal gear? No. Even for Snake, it's impossible to completely destroy this thing. The only option is to stop Solidus and his men. What are you going to do? Stay concealed. That's my role. I still can't afford to be discovered. Olga, you can't keep this up. They're bound to find you. Listen, I'll free you in a little while. Brace yourself. <clears throat> Dick punch. Mm -hmm. Jack, are you all right? Oh, uh, yeah. Jack, is it true? What Solidus said? Yes. It's unbelievable. Drafting small children, sending them to war? It's not allowed under international conventions. ICC rules don't mean a lot in war. Someone told me that there are over 300,000 children in combat right now. I was just one of them. So you remember? I thought your memory had been manipulated by them. It was. But I have nightmares every day pieces of the past I can't put together. Why didn't you tell me? You couldn't begin to understand. You wouldn't know that until you try me. I didn't want you to get hurt. <sighs> there was never a real reason for me to fight, except that someone put a gun in my hand. And that someone was him. It wasn't your fault. If I survived the day's fight, I was praised, fed, and had a bed to sleep in. I think I was only six when I held my first AK. But I'm not even sure of that. Jack. I'm not like Snake. I never questioned why we fought. There was no purpose, no way out. They give you a gun, you ask how many to kill. If you didn't, you were the one they shot instead. It's okay. No one is blaming you. We were shown Hollywood action films every day. The kind with macho guys and big guns. They call it image training. Ugh. They... they built us from the ground up into killing machines. We were fed once a day. I can still taste the gunpowder they mixed into the food. Gunpowder? In the food? The gunpowder had toluene in it, giving it hallucinogenic properties. It kept us drugged, controllable. Oh my god! <laughs> when the Civil War ended, those of us who survived were taken in by NGOs. They gave me a new life in the States. I can't complain. But nothing's changed. The only people who have no problem with my past have secrets and agendas of their own. Terrible nightmares. Every night. I can never forget. Jack... <laughs> I'm afraid of the night. That's why I don't sleep next to you. You should have told me. <laughs> told you what? That I'm a killer and always have been? No, no. What I hate more than anything else in the world is my own past. I didn't want you or anyone to know about it. <laughs> now I know why I was chosen for this mission. No one can take him on, take him down, except me. I've been kept alive this long for this. I knew as soon as I saw Solidus. Jack, I love you the way you are now. You have to believe me. <sighs> I 
didn't know anything about you. I admit that. Where you were born, how you grew up. But I know that now. And I know that what I feel for you can only get better. And I'll share in your past if that's the price. It doesn't work that way. No one can share the burden of what I've done. It's not one of those warm and fuzzy things couples share. I accept the good and the bad, Jack. That's what you do for someone you love. I don't want to share my past with anyone. I just want to forget about it. Jack, I haven't told you, you know, about what I've done. <sighs> the last two years with you, it's been more than I've ever hoped for. Jack. But I can't go any farther. I know you want to get married. I... But I can't. I can't risk starting a family. There's no way to erase my childhood. <laughs> it's all right, Jack. Please, don't say any more. Whatever. <laughs> Nice. That like junk is out. Raiden, do you copy? You must continue your m mission. I've lost all my gear. I need to locate Snake. He was never factored into the simulation. Leave him out of this. I can't do much naked. Especially in this temperature. That's true. You won't be able to attack or enter the hanging mode either. I think Snake has my gear. Raiden, take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. Colonel, are you under orders from the Patriots? Your role, that is, mission, is to infiltrate the structure and disarm the terrorists. My role? Why do you keep saying that? Why not? This is a type of role-playing game. The point is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. Colonel, I just remembered something. What? That I've never met you in person. Not once. Hmm. Complete your mission according to the simulation. Colonel, who are you? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What do you mean by that? Over and out. What is that supposed to be? Good. Mean? You can keep her. Just a naked dude cartwheeling around, no problem. What's that? I wouldn't believe what that is. Now the Tengus are always blind, regardless of the difficulty. Probably to make up for the fact that you're naked. Raiden, turn the game console off right now. What did you say? The mission is a failure. Cut the power right now. What's wrong with you? Don't worry. It's a game. It's a game just like usual. You'll ruin your eyes playing so close to the TV. What are you talking about? Raiden, something happened to me last Thursday when I was driving home. I had a couple of miles to go. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. It was moving very irregularly. Suddenly, there was intense light all around me. And when I came to, I was home. What do you think happened to me? What's that supposed huh? to mean? Fine. Forget it. Not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Here it comes. Infiltrate. The enemy what fortress. What the heck are you talking out about? Out of heaven. Destroy. The final weapon. Metal Gear. You make no sense. <laughs> So the AI is just slightly malfunctioning because it's been pulling lines from I'm just one for majority of the game, you know, it just happened to, to fit in with the setting. Now that it's malfunctioning just a little bit, it's still doing the same thing, that it's essentially just pulling lines from previous games. It's just now it doesn't make a distinction between which games and whether the line applies to what's going on. So it's not that far off. 
So we have lines from Metal Gear 1, VR Missions, Ghost Babble. <laughs> and the train stations. We also see a little bit of what Emma was talking about. The AI has access to, you, you know, random everyday trivial information. So you might get a text or a Wikipedia article. An anemone or clematis plant's juice can cause a rash. When pruning them, it's a good idea to wear gloves. Ah, okay. Extreme close up. And the taint. Even my patience has its limits. I just can't leave this thing up to you any longer. I'll do the fighting. You can just go home. And the gooch? And the taint? Variety level 13. Rescue Meryl. The return of Genoa. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta have a very important poll. Aha, uh -huh. and now, straight from Kojima's private stash of porn. Mind you, this is in the game, not... Not something I'm putting on screen. I feel like in this day and age, you have to specify that. <laughs> Prove it. How about you play the damn game? I'm in the middle of something right now. Lassie, why are you awake again? Did you even get any sleep? I hear it's amazing when the famous purple stuffed worm in Flapjaw space with the tuning fork does a raw blink on Harry Carey Rock. I need scissors. 61. Ah, but of course. Honestly, though, you have played the game for a long time. Don't you have anything else to do with your time? <laughs> okay, you don't get to call me out for my sleep, then. Jack, Because you me. sleep like four I hours was... a night. Jack, You're I gonna die. Apology. If it's about that conversation just now, I'm the one who's sorry. No, it's something else. What is it? That day at Federal Hall two years ago, it wasn't a coincidence. I was ordered to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on me? Yes, by the Patriots. You're a spy? I suppose, yes. It's an ugly word. <sighs> Are you still there? Was sleeping with me a part of the job? I fell in love with you. How could anyone? I can't excuse what I did. I've reported every detail of your personal life to them these two years. What you did, said, everything. Must have been fun. But some things I didn't tell anyone. Oh. Like what I felt for you. So that's why you were involved in this mission. I should have known. Why else would they toss an analyst into the mix at the last minute? I'm sorry. I know what I did was wrong. No matter where I go, I get used. I reinvented myself to suit your tastes. Hairstyle, clothes, the way I moved, things I talked about. You say you love the color of my hair, my eyes. They're not even real. You must have gone over my psych profile with a fine-tooth comb. It was my job. Great performance. Had me completely fooled. What I really wanted was for you to see the real me. It hurt to play out this... This artificial romance. It was worse to lie to myself than to you. 
The more love you gave me, the more it hurt. Because I knew the person you loved was just a character. So it was artificial on my end, too. It was just a game, not the real thing. Oh, Chuck. I feel better knowing that. What? I was in love, or thought I was, with someone who didn't exist. I was trying to be someone I wasn't by loving what wasn't real. I don't know who you really are. The person I knew isn't real. She's not the woman I'm talking to right now. In a sense, the deception was my own, not theirs. Jack, I thought I was acting because that was my job. But I did fall in love with you. That wasn't an act. You expect me to believe that? Ugh. It's okay. You had your reasons, right? Hey, I understand. But I have nothing left to... Jack! What? I'm... I'm carrying... I'm pregnant, Jack. Rose! What's going on? Here's another hilariously mistranslated line. Amazing how you walk around like that. Been waiting long? Snake! <laughs> Been waiting long? It is, of course, supposed to be kept you waiting, huh? But no. Been waiting long? God damn it. <laughs> Where's my gear? Right over there. That's more like it. Everything you had when you were captured is still there. Sorry about earlier. I had to use you as bait to gain access to Arsenal. It worked. And the Gooch versus Taint the debate. You never asked. Taint wins. Not happy about that? With 55% of the votes. Any effects of the virus yet? Still waiting on that. So, it was rigged by the Patriots? Looks like it. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we'll have to deal with it one way or another. There's also a troop of production model rays ahead. How many units? 25, according to Olga. 25? Yeah. Can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before, but I think we can deal. No way we can. We can, because we have no other choice. How? I've stocked up on Stinger missiles. Oh yeah, Olga left this for you. Why? Olga asked me to give it to you. Besides, I'm not a big fan of blades. Move the right stick up and down to make a vertical slice, and left and right to slice parallel to the ground. Move the stick in a circle to do a rotating cut. Push it forward to lunge and strike. You can guard with your blade if you have the L1 button pressed down. You should be able to deflect a bullet or two. A bullet or two? How about all of bu the bullets? <laughs> I don't know what the hell Sneak puts in his USB, but damn kid. What are you thinking? Damn kid. Oh B, thanks for the ninety-eight months. Yeah, we just gotta wait. Until Snake decides to move on here. Ah. Run away! What are you thinking? Oh yeah, the USB from the demo, that's right. Oh, that was fun. 
I know, right? It makes it sound like it's nothing. 98 mods, uh, well, whatever. <laughs> the Come truth on, is, we have so go. many longtime supporters are just awesome, yeah? If you run out of ammo, you can have mine. You got enough? Absolutely. Infinite ammo. Wait up, Snake! What? Hey, yes, I aim with the 106 months. Exactly, I was talking about. Thank you so much, man. Have you ever enjoyed killing someone? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between reality and a game. Diminished sense of reality, huh? VR training will do that. No, it was field training when I was a kid. I lied, Snake. I have more field experience than I can remember. It's not VR that's doing this to me. Raiden, we don't carry guns to take people down. We're not here to help some politician either. You can say that because you're a legend, a hero. I'm Jack the Ripper, a dirty reminder of a terrible mistake. Legends don't mean a whole lot. I was just a name to exploit, just like you. People will remember only the good part, the right part of what you did. There's no right part in murder, not ever. And we're not in this to make a name for ourselves. Then what are you and Otacon fighting for? A future. You can stop being part of a mistake, starting now. What am I? What am I supposed to do? Find something to believe in, and find it for yourself. And when you do, pass it on to the future. Believe in what? That's your problem. Come on. Snake, Raiden. Otacon, you all right? Yeah, so are all the hostages. That's good news. How's everything on your end? All right for now, but there is something. What? The Colonel's last transmission was strange. Strange? How? Just strange. No idea. Interference? I don't know. Where is this Colonel? I don't know. I've never met the man, actually. I'll dig around. Thanks. I owe you one. If there's anything else, call me on the codec. I might be able to help. The frequency is 141.12. All right, here we go. Crazy difficulty spike at the end of the game. Tango's rays. Torture. Well, it wasn't PS2. Let's see what Snake's AI decides to do today. Nice aim. <laughs> Stop talking shit. Get hit. I'm gonna keep that body armor equipped. So thank you so much for the tier one sub, the good old honest paid tier one sub. <laughs> I don't see those a lot. Thank you. Glad you enjoying the stream. Damn, what the tier two? Sixty four months, twenty six. Three. What? Oh. Oh, but also, two the six pack. That confused me because it's also twenty six in a row. Thing snake will act like an imbecile. <laughs> he might, especially when we reach the end. Jake6662, thank you for the four months. And thank Twitch for their insanely aggressive ad bullshit. I know. And Snake's getting a bit more off the night like. We should really get some new badges, yeah. See, the problem is, I have a complete lack of not just art and design skills, but creativity when it comes to that kind of stuff, so. We're still on the stuff that Knight made ages ago. Because it was like, yeah, 
we're good for six years. We probably don't have to worry about it for a while. But no, the others people are like eight, nine, almost ten years. Resubs. <laughs> I also really kind of dislike it when websites randomly change their fucking interface for no reason. Yeah. Just when you're starting to get used to the new one, they fucking change it on you. Scion, 94 months. Good to see you, man. Can we just... Was it Twitch or OBS or something? that they made such a shit interface for a while that people were comparing it to high contrast mode on Windows themes. I think I, I made a mean tweet about it. Was it Twitch? What was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that didn't last long, luckily. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I think if you dig really deep in my tweets, you'll find it. I'm trying to play it safe. It's bullshit because sometimes just looking over cover with in first person view it exposes your hitbox. And I got hit like twice that way. <laughs> Snake is just out there. Nice. Oh, that's weird. I still had tranquilizer from before. They reuse the same models, it seems. They still have the tranquilizer attached to them. When they respawn, interesting. Oh, what the fuck is that guy doing back there? That's weird. I 
might be a blue point feature, yeah. Just like there's not enough ray models, maybe there's not enough tengus. Yeah, Snake, shoot that wall. got up nice How's the lamb? It's weak as fuck, man. It's literally just a hunk of plastic for the looks. But that's... that's actually... Um... A lot. It wouldn't be right without it. But the... the, the right. light on it this of yours? is so pathetically weak. Is. Where? <laughs> Inside Arsenal. What? I've checked out all the possibilities, but I keep coming back to Arsenal. It isn't a relay point, it's the origin of the signal. Hmm. And the encryption protocol it uses is exactly the same as that of Arsenal's AI, the so-called GW. What the hell does this mean? Hey, it's it's the only it way to get the correct looks. You've been talking to an I'm AI. I'm pretty happy with it. That's impossible. The kernel probably isn't GW per se. GW was most likely stimulating cortical activity in the dormant part of your brain through signal manipulation of your own nanomachines. The kernel is, in part, your own creation, cobbled together from expectations and experience. That's crazy! But it's probably the truth. The virus may be starting to affect GW, which would explain the kernel's behavior. It was all an illusion? Everything I've done so far? Right. Snake, what's happening around here? I don't know. What I do know is that you're standing right here in front of me. Not an illusion. Flesh and blood. Huh? It's your call. Yeah. You can drop this if you want. No, I can't do that. Let's go. Raiden, they've got Rose. What? Rose is being held in the holds. It's a trap. Help! Rose! Raiden, get a grip. But Snake... It's a trap. Since the Colonel doesn't exist, there's no way he can take Rose hostage. Yeah, you're right. I am right. Okay. Uh, does Rose exist? Don't be weird. She's your... What if I've never really met her? What? If the Colonel is something that I partly dreamt up, then... Everything I remember about her could be... Don't jump to conclusions. You and Otacon are the ones that say the Colonel never existed. Raiden! Is this what Olga was talking about? Maybe this is just an AI stream. We did hear my AI voice earlier, yeah. Thanks for the 15 months. Alright, 
and see what happens. this part like normally like you would in any other difficulty or anything over in a European extreme where you can just run and gun around and eat rations. Oh I got him? Maybe Snake got him. The, the game decided to blind me exactly when I needed to shoot that guy. And the dick. Fish and mailed. Construct and keep for the game five months. Thanks again for blinding me, game. It's the last fish and mailed at least. Just an insane amount of people in this when you think sweet snakes AI. You do a number of different things that sometimes aren't great. In the dick. Oops. <laughs> M4 should be melted by now. Those plastic handguards. Fuck, where did this guy come from? I didn't see him at all. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit! Got hit by some random crossfire, and now Snake is eating shit! Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Hopefully it was just that guy. Oh, 
Oh no, oh no, oh no. We're gonna eat shit. If it doesn't end soon. Ah, oh, fuck, I think we might have to put him to sleep. Yeah, that's too dangerous. Alright, come here. Oh, that's it. That was close. Fortune. It's been a long wait, Solid Snake. The root of all my sorrows. What? Two years ago, you killed my father. That was the beginning of hell for us. Everyone I love has been taken from me one by one. And no matter how hard I try, I can't follow them. An endless nightmare. The only thing we live for is to see it end. Our wait is almost over. You can't be serious about firing the nuke. Since no one can kill me, I may as well kill everyone I can. Starting with you, Damn! Looks like I'm today's pick. You go on ahead. You want eternal rest? I've got it right here. What are you gonna do? Bullets can't get near her. I'll think of something. There's no such thing as a witch. You think you can kill me? I don't know what your group's been through, but let's get one thing clear. I didn't kill your father. Do you think anyone believes your lies? Right, get out of here. <laughs> Jack, I've been watching how you fight. It looks like you've remembered the way you used to kill in the old days. Or is it one of the S3 plan's proud achievements? What are you talking about? It came as a complete surprise when Ocelot discovered the S3 data from GW. Not a bad idea, though. Using fire to fight fire, creating the perfect assassin to retire, Solid Snake's brother. S3 stands for Solid Snake Simulation. It's a development program to artificially reproduce Solid Snake, the perfect warrior. The result is a Foxhound Commander. When the Fox Hound no longer exists, a solid snake making shaped by VR regimen. Nice, that Fox with his voice, too. Jack, I'm sorry to see you reduced to one of the Patriots' puppets. Thanks, Blue Point. But I've made use of you and their plan. Solid Snake's sudden appearance, your arrival. It was obvious the Patriots were among them in my ranks. I had just to smoke out the agent before the, before the mission entered the, the final And phase. it's not synced with the you subtitles anymore. As bait. Jack, those days during the Oh my god, we fucked really everything calm. up. <laughs> Every day was absolute. Split between life and death. Um You ran from it. And now you've been led back to war by something less than real. That really fucked with everything here. I never tried that before, but the stingers are just... Just funny how they fuck up the FPS so bad. No more games, Jack. At least you know. 
There's no reason to keep you alive now. I've given you a worthy opponent, at least. But now, you should die as the little Jackie boy I once knew. <laughs> Okay, no more fucking around. Raise. Playing every game wrong, I know. to get knocked off my ass, but it's calculated. We can get this extra hit in this guy here. Now get the fuck away. For a brief moment, there'll be no rays active. We all gotta come together. It's a little far for the water cutter, asshole. Sometimes they do this shit. They use attacks that ranges are kind of unusual for their attacks.
gun. Missiles, oh, this suck. die faster. The name because the serial numbers, but guess what? Blue Point and their infinite wisdom didn't remaster all the models. They just made a few and copy and pasted them. Oh, you asshole! You're doing that thing. Huh? That was close. That was not machine gun range, but okay. Oh, three dog. That's why he's an asshole. It's Ray Three Dog. <laughs> Ooh, again! With the weird machine gun out of range. Alright, what the fuck was that? Ugh. Where the fuck did that go? He's really close, holy shit. Okay, that's the last one actually. Nope. Alright, last hit. It's actually 20 rays. Oh. Yeah, 20 rays worth the top bar damage. Technically, two more show up because it show up. It's three. Okay, so we gotta save a few for the cutscene. How many rays die in this cutscene? Is it three or five? I think Sol just takes out three. Maybe there's two rays out there that never get destroyed. Oh, but don't do this! They'll know! I'll hold them off. Give you time to get away. What about you? This is suicide! 
Your nanomachines, they're transmitting your vital signs to the Patriots. If you die, my child dies. You understand? The child. I see. So that's why you sold your troops out to me. So many dead, and they all died trusting you! <sighs> Weren't they your comrades? No, not just comrades. Family! <laughs> I know I'm going to help, but at least my child. I applaud your attitude. If you have a death wish, I'll be happy to accommodate you. See you in hell! Enjoy the show, Jack. Let's pick up where we left off. Hmm? What's going on? What's wrong with it? I... GW, it's out of control. What? What happened? Maybe some kind of virus. The Patriots? I don't know. Ocelot, what have you been up to? It's too late. Arsenal's system control is going haywire. It's on an emergency ascent course. Stupid machines! Bring him in. Are you awake yet, Jack? GW. The Arsenal AI is corrupted beyond repair. I admit that I underestimated you. Uh, 
Oh. I'll squeeze the answers out of you instead, my son. <laughs> Um, oops. Raiden! I was reading something, I just Are completely you awake yet, fucking spaced out. Uh, <laughs> GW, the Arsenal AI is corrupted beyond I was reading repair. something on my second monitor, and I'm like, wait a second. This isn't the fake torture that you get when you first get captured. This is the real torture. Because I'm used to doing that, because when you first get captured and there's that first fake torture, you don't have to press anything. Oh, we actually have to do this now. <laughs> Son of a bitch. What do you hope to hear? You know he doesn't know anything. It's not him I want the answers from. It's all this A, thanks for the 13 months. Local Canuck also with the 7 months. Thank you. What do you mean? That's not your business. Oh, really? It so happens I have some business of my own to attend to. Planning to hijack Arsenal? Huh? You were going to screw me over, weren't you? Who talked? Ocelot? Not exactly. I was the one who used Ocelot to suggest the idea to you in the first place. What? I was planning to give you Arsenal to begin with. Why the uncharacteristic generosity? <laughs> I'm no philanthropist. Arsenal is far from impregnable. It needs other Metal Gears as guards, a huge payload of warheads, and full air, sea, and land support to function efficiently. Against a large attack force without support, Arsenal is nothing more than a gigantic coffin. Seizing Arsenal gear was never the real objective. What was your objective then? A list of names of the Patriots! <gasps> They were planning to extend their control to digital information flow with GW and Arsenal. That means the information they want to filter out is contained in GW. Including that list of the highest 12 members of the Patriots Wiseman's Committee. And once you knew who they were, you would cross out their names one by one. While we, with our useless Arsenal, drew their fire. Very good. You were using us all along. Were you any different? But your plans hit a snag with GW destroyed, hasn't it? No, there is another way. Really? But we have our own plans to carry out. We'll take the arsenal since you don't care for it anyway. The purified hydrogen bomb is ready to go. A nuclear strike won't stop them. It will damage their power source. The mindless masses that they control. First things first. Of course. That was what you wanted. I won't stop you. Good luck. Thanks, but I have quite enough of that. <laughs> what exactly do you find so funny? Charades usually are humorous. I wouldn't have minded watching some more of it, but we're running a little short on time. What are you talking about? Everything you've done here has been scripted. A little exercise set up by us. Exercise? The S3 plan was conceived as a means to produce soldiers on par with Solid Snake. That's what I told you. But the VR training the boy was put through is not the meat of the project. You think this little terrorist incident is your own doing, Solidus? This is the S3 training kernel. An orchestrated recreation of Shadow Moses. What? Ames and the President's deaths. 
A ninja. A computer virus that mimics Fox Die. Did you really think they were all a coincidence? AIM's own nanomachines were used to shut down his pacemaker. I arranged for the appearance of the ninja as well. As for the president, although Johnson realized what was going on, he played out his allotted part. As for the computer virus, it's a digital counterpart of Fox Tie. It was also designed to eliminate every scrap of information regarding the Patriots from GW. Your plan was invalidated even before execution, Solidus. Fat Man was a different story. He's one of our own people, a sort of examiner we hired to test the boy's progress before letting him tackle the exercise proper. We had to arrange for Stillman's presence to coax the maniac into agreeing. If the boy had allowed the big shell to be destroyed, this exercise would have ended there. The project has no room for failures. What do you mean? Given the right situation, the right story, anyone can be shaped into snake. Even rookies can fight like men of experience. An instant creation of genius! And this training kernel would provide more than enough data to formulate such a program. You, Dead Cell, Olga, you're all nothing but pawns placed to create the perfect simulation. Solidus. You and the boy were selected because your relationship resembles the one between Snake and Big Boss. Fortune, you and the rest of Dead Cell stand in for the Foxhound squad that Snake took on in Shadow Moses. You're the most impressive collection of freaks outside of Foxhound. We've gone to a lot of trouble to set you up against the boy. That story about purified hydrogen bombs is just the tip of the iceberg. The project was already underway when I sunk that tanker, along with your old man two years ago. Throwing your husband in the brig was a part of it, too. You were told that the eradication of Dead Cell six months ago was an act of the Patriots. We provoked and encouraged your hatred. And you opted for vengeance, just as we planned. All orchestrated? Except for the appearance of the real Solid Snake. I wonder now who sent for you. All our misfortune was just a part of your project? Nothing that we didn't give you. What? Do you know why no bullet could hit you? It wasn't magic, or some new age mumbo jumbo. Certainly wasn't your psychic talents. It was all staged by the Patriots. Staged. You were being shielded by the electromagnetic weapons technology that the Patriots developed. Your dead cell comrades loved your father and husband. We needed a pathetic wretch like you to keep them focused. You've been our puppet all along, just like Olga. No! You were hamming it up as the tragic heroine, thanks to the script that the Patriots wrote for you. 
pure self-indulgence, absorbed in your own misfortune. You couldn't get enough of the drama. I could have died whenever I wanted to. Hmm, thought I got her in the heart. <laughs> It missed. Now I remember. Your heart's on the right. Waste of metal, my dear, but your luck's run out. This is the little gizmo. There's no such thing as miracles or the supernatural. Only cutting edge technology. Arsenal and clean up the refuse from the exercise. Just try.
been waiting for this! It can't be! I've been inside this arm all along, waiting for the right time to awaken. You were inside Ocelot? Yes, a sleeper in the arm of a Patriot spy. It was you two years ago? Exactly. I was controlling him. Snake, it was I that leaked information about Arsenal to your partner and got you out here. What? You're the only one that can free me. After all... I'm off to bury the Patriots for good. You know where they are? How? Why do you think I chose Ocelot as my host? But before I go, I have a family matter to settle with both of you. There's room for only one snake and one big boss. George Washington took office as the first president of the United States of America 200 years ago today. And it happened right here. We were going to declare another independence, the dawn of a new nation, here. The end of the Patriots' secret rule, liberation of this country. This was where it was supposed to begin. This is where freedom could have been born. All you want is power at any cost. Jack, it's not power I want. What I wanted to take back from the Patriots are things like freedom, civil rights, opportunities. 
the founding principles of this country. Everything that's about to be wiped out by their digital censorship. Jack, listen to me. We're all born with an expiration date. No one lasts forever. Life is nothing but a grace period for turning the best of our genetic material into the next generation. The data of life is transferred from parent to child. That's how it works. But we have no heirs, no legacy. We brothers are called Les Enfants Terribles. Cloned from our father with the ability to reproduce conveniently engineered out. What is our legacy if we cannot pass the torch? Proof of our existence, a mark of some sort. When the torch is passed on from parent to child, it extends beyond DNA. Information is imparted as well. All I want is to be remembered by other people, by history. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. I want my memory, my existence to remain. Unlike an intron of history, I will be remembered as an exon. That will be my legacy, my mark in history. But the Patriots would deny us even that. I will triumph over the Patriots and liberate us all, and we will become the Sons of Liberty! Raiden, are you receiving? We're still here. How is that possible? The AI was destroyed! Only GW. Who are you? To begin with, we're not what you'd call human. Over the past 200 years, a kind of consciousness formed layer by layer in the crucible of the White House. It's not unlike the way life started in the oceans four billion years ago. The White House was our primordial soup, a base of evolution. We are formless. We are the very discipline and morality that Americans invoke so often. How can anyone hope to eliminate us? As long as this nation exists, so will we. Cut the crap! If you're immortal, why would you take away individual freedoms and censor the net? <laughs> Jack, don't be silly. Don't you know that our plans have your interests, not ours, in mind? What? Jack, listen carefully, like a good boy. The mapping of the human genome was completed early this century. As a result, the evolutionary log of the human race lay open to us. We started with genetic engineering, and in the end, we succeeded in digitizing life itself. But there are things not covered by genetic information. What do you mean? Human memories, ideas, culture, history. Genes don't contain any record of human history. Is it something that should not be passed on? Should that information be left at the mercy of nature? We've always kept records of our lives, through words, pictures, symbols, from tablets to books. But not all the information was inherited by later generations. A small percentage of the whole was selected and processed, then passed on, not unlike genes, really. That's what history is, Jack. But in the current digitized world, Trivial information is accumulating every second, preserved in all its triteness, never fading, always accessible. Rumors about petty issues, misinterpretation, slander. All of this junk data, preserved in an unfiltered state, growing at an alarming rate. It will only slow down social progress, reduce the rate of evolution. Right. You seem to think that our plan is one of censorship. Are you telling me it's not? You're being silly. What we propose to do is not to control content, but to create context. Create context? The digital society furthers human flaws and selectively rewards development of convenient half-truths. Just look at the strange juxtapositions of morality around you. 
billions spent on new weapons in order to humanely murder other humans. Rights of criminals are given more respect than the privacy of their victims. Although there are people suffering in poverty, huge donations are made to protect endangered species. Everyone grows up being told the same thing. Be nice to other people. But beat out the competition. You're special. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. But it's obvious from the start that only a few can succeed. You exercise your right to freedom, and this is the result. All rhetoric to avoid conflict and protect each other from hurt. The untested truths spun by different interests continue to churn and accumulate in the sandbox of political correctness and value systems. Everyone withdraws into their own small gated community afraid of a larger forum. They stay inside their little ponds, leaking whatever truth suits them into the growing cesspool of society at large. The different cardinal truths neither clash nor mesh. No one is invalidated, but nobody is right. Not even natural selection can take place here. The world is being engulfed in truth. And this is the way the world ends, not with a bang, but a whimper. We're trying to stop that from happening. It's our responsibility as rulers. Just as in genetics, unnecessary information and memory must be filtered out to stimulate the evolution of the species. And you think you're qualified to decide what's necessary and not? Absolutely. Who else could wade through the sea of garbage you people produce, retrieve valuable truths, and even interpret their meaning for later generations? That's what it means to create context. I'll decide for myself what to believe and what to pass on. But is that even your own idea? Or something Snake told you? <sighs> That's the proof of your incompetence right there. You lack the qualifications to exercise free will. That's not true. I have the right. Does something like a self exist inside of you? That which you call self serves as nothing more than a mask to cover your own being. In this era of ready-made truths, self is just something used to preserve those positive emotions that you occasionally feel. Another possibility is that self is a concept you conveniently borrowed under the logic that would endow you with some sense of strength. That's crap! Is it? Would you prefer that someone else tell you? All right, then. Explain it to him. Jack, you're simply the best, and you got there all by yourself. <sighs> oh, what happened? Do you feel lost? Why not try a bit of soul-searching? Don't think you'll find anything, though. Ironic that although self is something that you yourself fashion, every time something goes wrong, you turn around and place the blame on something else. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. In denial, you simply resort to looking for another, more convenient truth in order to make yourself feel better. Leaving behind in an instant the so-called truth you once embraced. Should someone like that be able to decide what is truth? Should someone like you even have the right to decide? You've done nothing but abuse your freedom. You don't deserve to be free. We're not the ones smothering the world. You are. The individual is supposed to be weak, but far from powerless. A single person has the potential to ruin the world. And the age of digitized communication has given even more power to the individual. Too much power for an immature species. Building a legacy involves figuring out what is wanted and what needs to be done for that goal. All this you used to struggle with. Now, we think for you. We are your guardians, after all. You want to control human thought? Human behavior? Of course. Anything can be quantified nowadays. That's what this exercise was designed to prove. You fell in love with me just as you were meant to, after all. Isn't that right, Jack? Ocelot was not told the whole truth, to say the least. We rule an entire nation. Of what interest would a single soldier, no matter how able, be to us? The S3 plan does not stand for solid snake simulation. What it does stand for is Selection for Societal Sanity. The S3 is a system for controlling human will and consciousness. 
S3 is not you, a soldier trained in the image of Solid Snake. It is a method, a protocol that created a circumstance that made you what you are. So you see, we're the S3, not you. What you experienced was the final test of its effectiveness. That's crazy. You heard what President Johnson said. The Arsenal's GW system is the key to their supremacy. The objective of this exercise was to establish such a method. We used Shadow Moses as a paradigm for the exercise. I wonder if you would have preferred a fantasy setting. <laughs> we chose that backdrop because of its extreme circumstances. It was an optimal test for S3's crisis management capacity. If the model could trigger, control, and solve this, it would be ready for any contingency. And now, we have our proof. Raiden, there are also reasons behind your selection. Solidus raised plenty of other child soldiers. Do you know why we chose you over them? Hmm. It was because you were the only one who refused to acknowledge the past. All the others remember what they were and pay for it daily. But you turn your back on everything you don't like. You do whatever you like, see only the things you like, and for yourself alone. Yes, Rose can attest to that. You refused to see me for what I was. I lied to you, but I wanted to be caught. You pretended to be understanding, to be a gentleman. You never made a conscious attempt to reach out to me. The only time you did was when I gave you no choice but to do so. I was just trying not to. What? Trying not to hurt me? Dear, the one you were trying not to hurt was yourself. Avoiding the truth under the guise of kindness is all that you did. It occurred to you to do nothing but look out for yourself. Even if you claim that it was for my sake, that feeling was nowhere to be seen. In the end, everything was for your sake. I was never part of the picture. <laughs> exactly right. So you see, you're a perfect representative of the masses we need to protect. This is why we chose you. You accepted the fiction we've provided, obeyed our orders, and did everything you were told to. The exercise is a resounding success. Didn't I tell you that GW was still incomplete? But not anymore, thanks to you. Your persona, experiences, triumphs, and defeats are nothing but byproducts. The real objective was ensuring that we could generate and manipulate them. It's taken a lot of time and money, but it was well worth it considering the results. I think that's enough talk. It's time for the final exercise. Raiden, take Solidus down. Think again. I'm through doing what I'm told. Oh, really? Aren't you forgetting something? If you die, my child dies. The termination of vital signals from your nanomachines means the death of Olga's child. Not to mention the death of Rose. She's wired the same way. Rose, does she actually exist? Of course I do, Jack. You have to believe me. Damn! It will be a fight to the death. Solidus at least wants you dead. We will collect the necessary data from this last fight. Then we'll consider the exercise closed. So, Jack the Ripper, will it be Solidus, the Patriot's creation, or you, Solidus's creation? Our beloved monsters, enjoy yourselves. Jack. My son. My clone brothers and I are called monsters, replicates of evil genes. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. By the way, Jack, 
I was the one who killed your parents. I claimed you for my own and raised you as a soldier in the army of the devil. I am your foster father and your worst enemy. Why? Because I needed to know whether we were really someone else's creation. We're repeating history, Jack. Liquid and Solid hunted down Big Boss, trying to sever the tie that bound them to him. Unless you kill me and face your past, Jack, you will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop. Your own double helix. It's time we were both free. I have other reasons for wanting you dead. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Inside you. What? The information is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed. So what was Solid just doing this whole time that we weren't um, involved? <laughs> and the great things for the 90 months. Alright, now we're gonna cheese him a little bit. Just abusing the fact that he counterattacks and then when he blocks, that resets his hit count. And he always counterattacks with that kick. So easy to get him into a loop here, but he can't really do anything. A few hits, a slap, and let him block, reset. Kinda feel bad for Slugus. Doesn't really fit with the um, difficulty spike at the end of the game. Especially if you're playing the PS2 version, you would have all these crazy things towards the end of the game. Like the two tango fights, the rays, and the torture. And then soldiers are just like, eh. Technically, they're called snake arms, not octopus arms. Yeah. You're not supposed to press buttons during the torture. Only the first one. The first one is a fake torture in the actual torture room. You can just not press anything during that room. Hold on, I'm gonna take this call. Your vote is low as it gets. 
Yeah, the sound is fucked. Sound levels between the music and the voices on the codec. But that's an um, HD edition thing, specifically the PS3 version, unfortunately. Also, for some strange reason, you get more health in HD here. I have no idea why. Why would they dumb down the torture and give you more health here? Did Blue Point like play test the game and they couldn't beat it? So they were like, ooh, let's make this easier, because if we can't beat it, then nobody can. <laughs> I don't understand. What the fuck were they doing? Why would you change that? Why would you fuck with the gameplay balance? Just to make a game HD. I, I don't get it. Oh well. Oh, it's because we're not fighting George Sears. We're fighting George Sears. I have no idea when the strategy started being a thing. This is actually not the strategy, I think, that speedrunners do. It's similar, but there's probably a more efficient way of doing it. I just noticed the pattern myself. But you kind of attack with a kick, and when you block that kick, his hit count resets, and you just do it again. Blue ball points. <laughs> blue balls. We should start just calling them blue ball. I think. I might be completely wrong because I don't watch speedruns much, just what happens to uh, get in my way every few years. But I think the actual way that they do is two slaps and one slash. Instead, I do two slashes and one slash. I have no fucking idea. But it's the same concept because you can get him into a loop pretty easily. Doing in this certain way is probably 0 0.0000000001 seconds faster, so it's more efficient. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't fuck with that. I don't get into that. That's my opinion on portable ops. Overall, it's positive, except for the controls. The controls in portable ops make me want to hang myself with my own ball sack. But, if you play an emulator, you can remap it enough between the emulator settings, the controller settings, um, you can make it somewhat playable. But the controls on PSP, I'd rather stretch out my ball sack and hang myself with it. You can also unlock the FPS on emulator to 60, so yeah. I think the PS Vita at least lets you use a second analog. I know it does with Peace Walker, I don't know about portable ops. I don't know. Who am I really? I don't have a Vita. No never had a Vita. Knows I kind of want one. What they are. The memories you have and the role you were assigned are burdens you had to carry. It doesn't matter if they were real or not. That's never the point. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. Well, guys, what enjoy the ending. That if you pay attention to, the world would be a very then different place. 
What am I supposed to believe in? I'm just three would not exist in the way that we What know am it. I going to leave behind when I'm through? Yeah, enjoy the ending. We can tell other people about it. Damn, Have I'm just faith. three. Is up next. What we had faith in. What we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you were right or wrong, but how much faith you were willing to have that decides the, the name on the dog tag. Come on, it's literally like a, a kind minute of away. Fiction too, come to think of it. It's Konami from Uganda. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name and your own future. Decide for myself, and whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt, thought about during this mission is yours. And what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Hmm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. This game was distributed by Konami of Uganda. By the way, what is that? <laughs> I don't know what's funny, but it just is. Anyone Dog you tags. know? Yeah. Shake head at Konami. Anyone you know? No, never heard the name before. I'll pick my own name and my own life. I'll find something worth passing on. Ow, motherfucker, who hit me? They taught me some good things, too. I know. We've inherited freedom from all those who fought for it. We all have the freedom to spread the word. Even me. Snake, what about Olga's child? Don't worry. I'll find him. Count on it. As long as you keep yourself alive. That safe. bandana's going crazy there. Holy shit. I don't think it's supposed to do that. What the fuck? Do you know where Liquid went? I put a transmitter on his ray. Mm. Did he head for the Patriots? I gotta yeah, check on PS2. I have a feeling they gave Ocelot a bogus location to begin with. Cheer up, we have a better lead. This contains the list of all the Patriots. But Ocelot took it. The one we gave you wasn't the real thing. What? This virus is coded to destroy only a specific part of GW, namely the information about the Patriot's identity. Which means that there's a parameter coded in here that defines what that information is. I get it. Analyze the code and you can probably find out where they operate. Count me in. No, you have things to do first. And people you need to talk to. something who am I really I wouldn't know but we're going to find out together aren't we oh yeah see me for what I am okay
Do you remember this place? Of course. This is where we first met. I remember now. Mm -hmm. Today is the day I met you. <laughs> That's it. I think I found something to pass along to the future. What? He said all living things want their genes to live on. Are you talking about the baby? Yeah. The genes aren't the only thing you pass on. There are too many things that aren't written into our DNA. It's up to us to teach that to our children. What kind of things? About the environment, our ideas, our culture, poetry. Passion, sorrow, joy. We'll tell them everything together. Is that a proposal? This is for your ears only. Specifically for that reason. There is no other way than the light leading to yesterday. It's there that I'll find inner peace, not war, and dreams that I let slip away. I'll Which OST is the best? Probably I'm just one. I'm just one the music really makes things feel like shit is going down, you know? It's always perfect for the environment and for what's going on at the time. It really contributes to the atmosphere. I'm just two does it too. I would say that I'm just two has more variety in OST, but I'm just one is more more, it's maybe more impactful on the atmosphere. Pretty close. Tough call between them, just one and two, as is mostly everything that is my favorite in the series. <laughs> Mm 
V's my favorite. Ah, uh, yes, you have amazing background music during gameplay. And then just V, such as. Um. Uh. Hold on. Uh, that, that one track. Um. What's it called? Uh. What does it sound like? Um. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that one. Generic background noise of one. I fall to my knees. I cry and I cry. <laughs> Love to not Name one background OST background music that plays during gameplay in MGSV in a certain area. Name one. And, and think about what it sounds like. Hmm. I can't say goodbye to yesterday, my friend. Cause I know how good it has been. Facing forever, here I stand, come what may. Another one dim oh god <laughs> in a peace not war and dreams that I let slip away. Thriller named Filler. Because you have wishes you had thriller and I'm just being <laughs> filler. Cause this is filler. <laughs> Piece of shit. This game is filler. In the night. <laughs> oh fuck. You can also name it Kiefer. Aaron Kiefer Davis. Look at him. Hey, Mother JP, thank you for the 43 months. 42 yesterday, sure. Push math, whatever. Thanks. I also thought of another, uh... Life isn't just about passing on your genes. We can leave behind much more than just DNA. Through speech, music, literature and movies, what we've seen, heard, felt, anger, joy and sorrow. These are the things I will pass on. That's what I live for. We need to pass the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic of the digital age to do that with. 
the human race will probably come to an end sometime, and new species may rule over this planet. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can. Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. Is the exact moment the series peaked and then Snake, down from you there. Here. It's me. I've finished Recall. going over that disc. Did you find the Patriots list? Of course. It contains the personal data of 12 people. There was a name on it. Snake, it was one of our biggest contributors. What's going on around here? I don't know. Anyway, where are they? Well, we were right about them being on Manhattan, but... But what? They're already dead. All 12 of them. When did it happen? Well, uh, about a hundred years ago. What the hell? All right. This is all too complicated for me. I don't want to question reality. I just want to be a badass action hero and save the world. So we're playing MGS3. <laughs> I mean, that's essentially what happened. Average response to MGS2, especially at the time. Ugh, what the fuck is this? Right in the game. Ugh, I want to be a badass hero and save the world. I have time to question what's real and what to... Uh, Decide to believe in and pass on for myself. Eh, fuck that. Just tell me what to believe in and just let me be a badass. <laughs> uh. We'll play the song we're supposed to play. In between the Virtuous Mission and Snake Eater Mission. Wait. <laughs> After the end of MGS2, the fan base was split into two cringe and based. This marked the beginning of MGS3. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Unfortunately, the cringe fan base won. <laughs> oh. I'm not sure about M just one. I think if you select I like M just one, it has lots to do with the stamina or something. If you select like M just three, it gives you all the extra camos and unlocks European Extreme without a save. And of course, you have you know Snake's face from the beginning. And if you select I like M just two, we start off with the Raiden mask and we get a couple extra calls and dialogue about it. And given the reason that this game exists at all, it really is the way to go about it. Approaching Soviet airspace. It's also how you hear Snake say, Can you hear me, Major Tom? Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Arm main parachute. Since the um, right. you ready to go. M just two apology is scattered throughout the game. Good. And in subtext. This really fits with that. To get a little bit of um extra line or two about it. What's wrong? Are you expecting something different? Put out that uh, this isn't right. Connecting oxygen hose to interior okay. connector. No, I don't want to be riding again. Put on your mask. Yeah. I read a long time ago that selecting I like him just one. Um, decreases your stamina. 
um, consumption because you're like, there's no stamina and I'm just one. Ten minutes to drop off. Um, and also that Snake wouldn't have his beard because Snake doesn't have a beard and I'm just one, but I think that's bullshit. But I'm not sure if it's another one of Blue Point's shenanigans because I also remember testing it and not being true, but maybe it's Blue Point fucking with the models again. Just like Snake's beard is fucked up in them just too. DHD edition. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Man, that transition felt too quick because we didn't play Snake Eater. But you know what? Snake Eater, when you first start the game, is actually not supposed to play. No, not Sunrise. Elgato. Okay. <laughs> Elgato got confused. So Snake Eater only plays as the intro if you already have a save. You already started the game before. So technically, it's not supposed to be there when you first start the game. It's supposed to play in between. One minute to drop off. Move to the rear. This is one for the history books. The world's first Halo jump. Ten seconds to drop I already kind of went on a rant. Status okay? All green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. Long story short, I'm just three is a game made for dumb people who didn't appreciate or understand what just do and not what the series is about at all. It also permanently changed the direction of the series and complete downfall from its original purpose. So not the long story short of it. Jack, I've got some important news. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well... About two years ago, West. Well, 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 what the hell? Moles. Even my cash card doesn't like His it. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. I have no idea why it's doing He's that. Head of the OKB seven five four Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov, isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned spaceflight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development become the head of the newly established Design Bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a Design Bureau, that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. We used a mole to get the family out first, and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. Alright, hold on guys. We gotta stop the stream, because that guy is working right now. So we'll wait until he's done with work, and then we'll stream again. Alright, bye. And we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to <laughs> Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962. President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate-range ballistic missiles in Cuba. 
The president demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. US and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the UN Your links fucked. Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete, and we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return Sokolov. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy gave into Khrushchev's... I like how you're telling people to, to just sub because the I deserve day, it. I but you're not subbed. <laughs> over to agents <laughs> on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my side. Thanks, though. I mean, it's the then thought that counts. Ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. <laughs> Once more, it's on the verge of Thank so you, Kid Rex. What kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No. Missiles. Same technology. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at semi palatinsk Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No, according to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask. Okay, we even have mods begging for subs, <clears throat> or depending on gift of subs. The Virgin Cliffs. Nice name for a virtuous mission. They moved him there just recently. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. transition maybe it's because whenever i'm just three stars it's around the time i get tired during these marathons which is good because i'm just three is also the easiest guy a game the series Listen up, Jack. Your is to it, it really goes hand in hand with everything we've done down Hundred and fifteen years. Back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major yeah, crisis. I was shock sock here a while ago. <laughs> Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about twenty minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface-to-air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat-proof. The whole virtuous mission thing is so probably is for uh, the, the wordplay with virtual. The will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. 
So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. It sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. No, I don't want to be the blonde guy named Jack again. Something's wrong here. Kojima, how could you betray my expectations like this? Hold on, something's not right. <laughs> Point out the exact moment M.G. 3 becomes bad. Do you copy? When it was developed, enemy I mean, not bad, but you know what I mean. The problems that I have with it. We'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like Snake? Oh, I forgot to do the call I just talked about. Oh, well. You've one before, haven't you? In survival training. Fuck. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful. You might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm, let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. Oh, and Snake? Yeah. The crew isn't watching anymore. You can take off the disguise now. This Good isn't idea. right. This isn't right. Time for the Snake to shed his skin. I forgot to do the little optional call before walking to the tree here. You're like, what's wrong? Were you expecting something different? I mean, M.G. 3 is a lot of fun. It's a really well-made game and all of that, but M.G. 3 is also Kojima giving in and you know, instead of doing what he wants to do, is just completely giving in to the, the people's bitching and trying to to um, tailor a game to quench the bitching from MGS2. So in that aspect, every game after MGS2 is about people bitching about MGS2. Can you hear me, Major Tom? This is Snake. Kept you waiting. Yeah, giving huh? in to the bitches. This will be yes. A sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procured on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. 
I see. Well, you'd better go back and get it, then. You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. Yeah, except tree, people didn't really learn any lesson from that. <laughs> Rob and Kiwi. I do like I'll that comparison, though. Over the radio. We can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. If you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake. Go get your backpack. In fact, after this, having M just four wishes. Oh god, yeah. Hey, I really need to learn how to sum th this up a little better when I want to talk about it, but not spend like an hour in the starting area of MGS3. As well made as it is and as fun as it is to play, the problems that I have with when I'm just three completely derailing the, the point of the series uh, are there and it, there's a subtext to it that it kind of pisses me off that a lot of people uh, say this game is their favorite but they completely miss that so how I'm just one two are these little life lessons that Kojima wanted to impart on his team and his audience uh, anything after I'm just two starting with I'm just three is just Influenced by the reaction to I'm just you and the bitching that came with it. So it is no longer about You know little life lessons or whatever it is still very much autobiographical about Kojima But now Kojima's experience is that uh, He's reacting to people's reactions to I'm just you. So now every goddamn game in the series has to be influenced by that and all I'm saying is, damn, I wish we just got some more, you know, original stuff. Like, I'm just wanted to, that are really good. Instead of every single game the series is now influenced I by the bitching in MG2. From MG2. To equip a weapon, so everything is derailed forever since this point. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. And the irony Your of it being that people have no idea. And <laughs> saying that this is their that favorite is game. the weapon you want to equip. And press the enter button. For other yeah, everything is a life lesson, but it's not the original point. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Sometimes when I really want to piss people off, I go as far as saying that if you like M just three, then you don't really like Middle Gear because that's not what the series was about at all. M just three is just a reaction to M just two backlash. Your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. If you don't like him just one and two, more than three, then you don't like Metal Gear Solid, sorry. Or at least, the more politically correct way to say is that the things that make me like him just one and two are completely derailed and lost in MGS3. Therefore, I can't even put it on the same level. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No also weapons, makes complete foolery of I'm just use ending. The mocking the fact that people countries. didn't get it or your care for it. But that's really sad in itself. International conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and US government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take yeah, I think I'll just start time. saying it that way. The things that make me like him just one and two completely derailed and crushed in MGS3 because of people's bitching. And I am bitching about the bitching. So something's matter about that. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It will send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. 
So how do I come back to life? Just take the revival. Kojima failing to pass on the series to the fans and to the development team is reflected in every single game in the rest of the series. Literally all of them in some way. I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? Hello, Snake. I'm paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic? As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. I'm just three's lesson is not loyalty to the end. I'm just three's lesson is that sometimes the circumstances around you lead you to do things that you normally wouldn't do. She's also in charge of recording scene. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency. Yeah. One four zero point nine six. So saving lets me. Gene, meme, and scene. It also records the state of your health. So in a lot of ways, know. MGS3 There's is a game about how to, Kojima failed to pass on the series. Speaking Maybe that's what snakes, pisses me off. You remember the boss, don't you? And so is every other game in the series. And your the boss is so Actually, important the that we have to turn up the, the volume. Authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years has it been? Boss? That's right. It's me. Oh. Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack, I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural-born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. 
Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra Unit, a group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Put the volume down Avoid again. heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Commencing virtuous mission now. Gun, knife, knife gun. Now you can never call the boss again after the virtuous mission. In fact, you can't call the boss anymore once you get to the area where Sokolov is. Sir Retro, thank you for the 15 months. He says, suck my balls. Will do. Let me put that on my to-do list. <laughs> Big Zap also with 5 months, thank you. Kojima got his revenge with Death Stranding. In a way. I mean, he just wanted to put all of his friends in a game as holograms. Why not? Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and Would I put all my friends in a game? Yeah, I will put you in my game too. I will make you the annoying voice on the radio telling you Snake, what to do all the your time. Your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. 
don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the Face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? So she said to just run out in the jungle with no camel and shoot people in the face, right? Or just run up to them and slam them onto the ground. Just dispensing okay. naps. These guys are tired. If you don't eat, this snake dive starvation it would just get weak. You don't die of starvation, but the really the main um, impact on gameplay is that you're gonna aim like complete shit if you don't eat. If your stamina is down, your aim is gonna be all wobbly. And also, your health doesn't regen as fast. Those are really the two main things that happen with no stamina. And then, yeah, your stomach grumbling, which could alert guards. If you're close enough, you can hear it. The game also has um, a pity system. If you die too many times, eventually, when you hit continue, if you have no health or no stamina, the game gives you like free... Uh, like 50% stamina out of nowhere. After enough continues. I've done a run where you never open the survival viewer except for, you know, those story parts where it's required to, to cure um, Snake's wounds and later Eva's wounds. Or like to change into the Rykov disguise, you have to open the survival viewer to do that. But other than that, I've done a run where you just never eat, never go into the cure menu, never change weapons and it's perfectly doable. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target.
This guy seems tired. He needs a nap. This guy's deaf. Yeah, the magnetic arm CQC range. It's actually hilarious that your CQC range is greater than the guard's hearing range for your footsteps. But you can see you see somebody before they even hear you. But even if they do hear you, they take like like a full second to alert after they notice you. You can see you see them during that one second. Are you one of those? Uh, MG's three guards are probably the dumbest in the series. You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. Now, if the guards notice you them just one or two, the they instantly alert. Don't wait. To seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner, and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process. So it would seem. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go.
Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? No one spotted me. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. So Snake's supposed to be speaking Russian with Sokolov here. It's just the audience or the audience convenience we hear it in English, yeah? But every time Snake's talking to somebody who would be speaking Russian, he would be speaking Russian to them. So like Sokolov, Volgin. Uh, who else? Ocelot, I guess. He would speak to Ocelot in Russian. Kojima originally wanted the voice actors to learn Russian for this game. And they politely told him to fuck off. So that line there is supposed to let us know that they're speaking Russian, but we, we hear in English for convenience. Why would Snake be speaking Russian to the boss? <laughs> I mean, she's the one who taught him Russian, so maybe, I guess they could do that, but why would he do that? Like, Eva, the boss, you know, or anybody on the radio, they would be speaking English. Somebody donated using my name, 479. 479? What? <laughs> I should really ban my name from the donation thing so people don't get confused. If you donate your to yourself, you're just gonna lose money in PayPal fees. And have to report his income, so why would I do that? What's a crew soldier doing here? Soldier? Yeah, sure, upgrade. He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. It, it still doesn't make up for it. Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? Because it's not like if you report a $1 business expense, you get $1 back in refund. You get like a fraction of that. You should know this. Somehow, Ocelot's shitty 9x18 rounds can kill people in one hit after ricocheting, too. It's the same reason people don't really have Russian accents, unlike MGS2, because they're supposed to be speaking Russian already, you just hear it in English. Can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. 
<laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. <laughs> Leave it! Shoot the other one! I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> 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 But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, are you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters oh, and Oh, shit. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB <laughs> and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. The system kind of outed you, Furious. For that $4.79 cents donation. Because it added it to the total you donated at the top, and now changed the name to the arcade. <laughs> Oops. Well, thanks for the four dollars seventy nine cents, Furious. Now you can actually see Snake shoot that tranquilizer towards the very beginning of the fight there. And then later that guy comes back with it still standing with it on his hand on his arm, but by then the tranquilizer goes into effect. You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit. Spetsnaz? Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. What That's is that? Making you build. Oh my god. The Shagohod. The treading behemoth, a tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. 
and without support from friendly units. <laughs> a nuclear equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No. This is only the end of phase one. Is that thing finished? It won't be true no. until we complete phase two. Phase two. The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America, quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together, it's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Kuabara.
Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us Cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? face we can't let him live if Khrushchev finds out about this we're finished he must die wait He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. Done here. Now, on to Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic, 
Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left stick to select the medical item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. If you do everything I mentioned, the wound should heal completely. Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Viewer, just share your number in the chat and I'm sure you'll get plenty of calls. PJ, thanks for the 73 months. Alright, speed surgery time. I feel like Upgrades is the kind of guy who would call you about your car's extended warranty or something. Good job, Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up? Alright, let's take a look at the sorrow here. I like his sweater. Can we take it? Is there Bob? It's you. Surely there has to be a better way to transport that thing, right? No? Okay. work from any terrain as long as that terrain is a fucking three mile runway <laughs> uh. I don't know if they can see each other but they can they definitely know the general direction that they're in and they're like kind of gesturing at each other yeah 
or the, they're playing rock, paper, scissors. and her cobras. I have both Sokolov and the Shagohad. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is she? Apparently she's Sokolov's woman. Fast, my dear. A kiss of death. Are you KGB. We may be able to use her. Just realize Shall we take her back to the base? The AK in this game, it doesn't right, have should. the slant break. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvel. It's more to like the, the Chinese style fat muzzle or Kirk. flat. Muzzle. Even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the I, I wonder what probably airsoft thing. model they base it on. Victor. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> Colonel! That's like a mix, right? Probably that way because it's based on a whatever airsoft model they had handy. That's the Fulton kit they're dropping there that you see dropping down in a parachute. It's not a person. Snakes extraction. What a thrill. The darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. I'm the so intro so is now out of sync. Cause Blue Point fucked it up. Thank you, Blue Ball Points. The capture card does not approve of it. Tree frog. It's your dear, the trial. 
Snake looks a little off in this intro in some scenes because that's trailer footage from early models. They never made it into the game. Like the part where he eats the fish, you can actually see it. Out in gameplay, yeah right. Also, the slant break for AKs, it's an AKM thing. This is supposed to be like a true AK-47, not an AKM, so that's why it doesn't have it. Hmm. This is stock. I, I need to look at the model. Totally came with me. Altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. Arriving at the designated drone launch point. Thanks, Kaz. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload antifreeze system shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. Because if I'm gonna get an AK, I want to get the most basic bitch, you know, configuration, old school wooden furniture. Because there's no point in trying to modernize that thing, and I want the correct looks. How does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. But there's still plenty of things to look out for, like the slant on the stock, the stamped or milled receiver, and the muzzle brake. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you too? Must just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No, this Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today, Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. The gun research stream? We could sit down and look at all the Metal Gear guns and then find the closest real life counterparts. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. <laughs> and that's what I do all the time anyway, to try and buy them. No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, okay, B-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. 
If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard then? The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean... the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yes, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells? I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. But serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the boss, with Colonel Volgen's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top-secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again, our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then, you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes. Preferably something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volkin is a member of the Brezhnev faction. Kind of, Bob. As close as it possibly one week. You have could be one done week. reasonably. It's not too much to ask. Do something about Volkin as well. Most of them are unobtainium. Nothing means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. Put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice. Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice.
Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Suck. Insiders. There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB in exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Volgin's ranks. We've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Unidentified aircraft detected, altitude 30,000 feet. It's fast. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. Quick dim, tell them how I'll survive is better than the Phantom Pain. <laughs> Watch people lose their mind. I tried to, Rocha, but. And uh, realistically, I can't really sleep more than six to eight hours a night. Not much of a coffee guy. I used to drink too many energy drinks for caffeine, but... If I really want caffeine, I just take caffeine pills. Fuck it. There's no need to, uh... Down all that sugar with it, or nasty shit, and... Loud and clear. And the energy drinks. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod. Then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss? This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. I mean, I, I, I still... You mean it wasn't just a request. I have plenty of fluid intake, so... Is threatened by the Colonel and his faction. And you just go by the dosage. If the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on. What Snake. Chug? What now? I'm changing my code name. Is that like shotgun it? Out, Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. <laughs> Which <laughs> butt? Well, the, the cans or my I chose my code name. I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. I must have missed that one. Anyway. It's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call you? Hmm. You know, 
Let's just use Zero, like we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission, 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same, 140.96. And there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is, who are the Patriots and Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. Commencing Operation Butt Chugger. That was weird. The 1911 icon already shows a custom one. Look at it. It has the threader barrel. It has this, um, this bronze serration, it has the flat mainspring housing. It's kind of a spoiler. Right now we have the basic bitch 1911A1. But the icon is the same for the custom one. <laughs> I never noticed that, I just noticed that now. Interesting. Spoiler icon. Be crazy to notice that on your first playthrough. Oh, can you imagine? Mm, something's up with this gun's icon. Literally unplayable. Still fuzz, thanks for the 92 months. However, I'm pretty sure the icons were remade for the HD edition. They were definitely made for MGS2, I'm not sure about 3, but probably. So, that's actually something worth checking on PS2. You see that slide lock? Um... I can't actually do that. We still have ammo. Okay, if I unequip it now, it's over. Does it not do the same thing as I'm just do where if you're against a wall it kind of puts the gun away sideways so you can look at it? Not really. Ooh, I better not unequip it. Because if I unequip it now, there's no way to go back to slight lock. It really doesn't do it. Yeah, Snake didn't have trigger discipline until I'm just four. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Which way am I killing the end? You know, unless people donate for another way, I usually just fight him. Yeah, you should watch some of those old school training videos. 
for like the army or old school police academy. And by today's standards, it is insane how many safety violations there would be in those kind of videos. They didn't give a fuck back, back then, man. They didn't give a fuck. 60s, 70s, 80s. Just like, you know, everybody smoked everywhere. No seatbelts. No gun safety. They didn't give a fuck. Boss. That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? Sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss! Because you're going to eject yourself from your windshield and hit some old I'm lady nearby awesome. upgrade. That's why. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. And before people going crazy about the bullets tumbling. <laughs> I'm more annoyed by the fact that there's no rifle marks on those bullets. Maybe the Patriot really is smooth for. should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. That would actually explain everything. But why the fuck would you do that? The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. If we meet again, I'll kill you. Now, go home. This is Snake, Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians that she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. 
enemy. We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. I feel like doing it this way today. What the fuck is that, viewer? <laughs> Nap time for everyone. Should be looking the other way. Ooh, cause I hesitated a little bit too much there. Yeah, I clearly know all the channels that you guys keep creating and rearranging on Discord. I have no fucking idea what's going on in our Discord. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Here, I've been meaning to look at this thing. Okay, okay. It is no AKM indeed. Come on, get out there. I just completely ignored in this game why you can't use enemy weapons. Yeah. Their ID Sorry, locked with parasites. Cut the engine. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! So here's a new theory, just like Miller's the sunglasses, maybe Eva is there the boobs. Is your what if the real Eva is the boob implants? I mean, when she's introduced, 
it's heavily implied that Eva is actually the boobs. Nope, you don't get a fracture when the horse fucking steps on the snake's hand. Nope. I mean, look at this, Eva. Boobs. The name's Eva. This wasn't part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I think you showed me to him, yeah. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Forty-five, huh? Hmm. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced. And the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Proceeds to flinch the absolute shit out of that trigger pull. Where'd you get something <laughs> like this? I was thought I was funny. Western munitions armor. I was like, wow, this thing is so accurate. Flinch. And there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe then. Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohod. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close-range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Nerd. 
Right. Let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. Hmm. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. The paramedic, this is non-stop marathon, we can't do that. A sign up SSBN, thank you so much for the sub. The ads got you? Well, I appreciate your honesty, man. <laughs> the Twitch system is working. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying the marathon. Stolen laptop, McDonald's Wi-Fi, ad block, never sub, never donate, free entertainment. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see. Stolen Four neighbor's electricity. <laughs> We've got company. It's the Ocelot unit. Let's get out of here. Hurry. Don't forget your gear. Here, give me a hand. We can use this to get to the basement. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Don't go dying on me now. Uh. All right. Forget that 1911. Just... Let me get my OP tranquilizer out. Do 
don't need a magazine or the microphone. <laughs> Bike switched to silent mode. I never thought about that, but yeah. They didn't hear. Well, she doesn't really get away, if you think about it. Ocelot gets her before she can get away. What's wrong? What? If we got a good throw, that should go down. We did not get a good throw. We only got two of them. How the hell did that happen? Where'd he go? Uh. Shit, that guy's still up there. For some reason. Hmm. There he is. Excuse me. <laughs> The other thing that makes him just 3 easier is that when you sidestep like that, it doesn't move your hitbox. You can literally hide around the corner and sidestep in front of people around the corner and they will not see you. But you can still shoot them in the face. And here it was like double invisible anyway because we're also in an intrusion view because we're crawling. So yeah. Very nice of them to wear red hats so we can see them in the jungle. <laughs> Dim with the more advanced version of what I was just talking about earlier. See, now the icon actually reflects the gun. I really want to check this on, on PS2. If they, ha they have the, the spoiler 1911 icon before you have it. I mean, they also spoil things like Grad before you learn about it. You do the stun grenade call with Sigint, which you start with stun grenades, by the way. So they're already in your inventory. You do the stun grenade call with Sigint, he talks about... How they were developed the Groznygrad before you even learn about Groznygrad. Literally unplayable. That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? A female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun, I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. We'll see.
six shots. That thing only carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high-class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn! This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? He's still young. You'll regret stopping me. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does! We've been invaded! Enigma, man, good to see you. Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. Hey, thanks for the resub as well. We're doing some Metal Gear, well, more than some. We're doing a long-ass Metal Gear stream. 16 hours in, we're looking at eh, about 32 or 33-ish hours. With I'm just one, two, three, and four completed. At the beginning, I'm just three is just about where I started getting tired, and then my body just has to accept that we're not going to sleep tonight. And then I get my second wind for I'm just four usually. All right, let me do some bug juice here, because kind of ashamed to admit this, but I have a little bit of a bug juice problem. Don't don't do bug juice, kids. Oh shit! This this thought that that croc was after my ass there. Any specific goal for the run? Um, not to pass out before I'm just four is over, which is why I'm going somewhat fast-ish or at least efficient, so that we don't take too long in any one game. I've done this before, obviously, and just doing a basic bare-bones story run of them just one, two, three, and four back-to-back -back takes me about 30... 30 to 33 hours, depending on how much I fuck around. Snake, are you there? Eva? Did you miss me? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Vulgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. Well, we learned earlier that I'm, I'm actually an AI. Other cultures, other ways of thinking. So I can do Until this. I went to work for the NSA. And one day, I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment and by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America, but it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to. Even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya.
For all the problems I have with this game, Eva's voice actress is probably one of the best things about it. She's just good, and also probably has something to do with the fact that we don't know who she is yet. He uses a fake name, and only people in the, uh, what is it, the voice actors guild or something know about her. <laughs> There's rumors, there's people speculating out there about who she might be, but there's no, um, you know, definite proof. Has it been proven? Mango, cause I don't know. If it has, then it hasn't reached me. I haven't noticed yet. I feel like it'd, it'd be all over the place. Unless you have some insider info. I remember seeing tweets like people making comparisons and stuff. Maybe she's an AI, she might be. <laughs> no, you can make an entire game with AI voices now. But I prefer not knowing it. You know? Because to me, that voice is just Eva. You yeah? don't think about a real life person behind it. It makes it more. Uh, it makes it easier to um, suspend disbelief, I guess. Nice aim. Source my ass. Source. Dude, trust me, bro. <laughs> I've heard you say some pretty nice things about twin snakes. Hmm. Yeah, and also, some people might fight me on this, but voice actors are not their characters. Not by a wide margin, holy shit. Stop saying, oh, hater is sneak, mm. I'll get this guy first. Ah, shit. Ooh, nice, he got distracted again. Kiefer is big medic. Just my imagination. Okay, we'll make an exception for that one, because Kiefer is big medic. Because they're both kind of drunk, I guess. Can I put a tranquilizer in this guy? Come on, go down. Or not, okay. No, oh, he didn't get electrocuted. Kiefer is liquor snake. Now the truth of the matter is that often voice actors have absolutely no idea what the fuck they're talking about, what their characters do and are in context or anything related to them, so Just, you know, just leave it at that. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that they should know everything, but don't pretend that you do know, please. Just don't. Just leave it at that. Uh, let's see. Oops. Also, you'll make Kojima cry, because... Hater gets more recognition than him in the West. That's one of the reasons, one of the things that fueled the, um, the saltiness between Kojima and Hater, by the way. Ah, you're here at last. Kiefer probably it's thinks he voices Salt Snake. Yeah, if it works at Games Radar. 
If you, according to Games Radar, yeah, you play a Solid Snake and Ground Zeroes. Twice now, you've made me taste bitter defeat. Maybe they were doing a deja vu mission. Also, lots of voice actors is a pretty bad one, too. I mean, he, he does an okay job with the voice acting, but he has absolutely no fucking idea what the character is about. And they did this Metal Gear characters, uh, care voice actors get together on a Zoom call. I think it was during the pandemic. Ocelots are proud creatures. And they were all, like, answering questions from the fans, and it was the cringiest shit ever. They had no fucking idea what they were talking about. And if you don't, you just don't, that's fine. But don't pretend that you do. <laughs> I remember fucking Ocelot, young Ocelot voice actor. They asked him, so why does Ocelot use revolvers instead of a more modern gun? And his answer was, oh, because he thinks it's a noble weapon and... Like, just shut the fuck up, please. This time I've got 12 shots. I, I still remember that. Because it was just too cringe. Okay. Or fucking Meryl's voice actress. One of the interviewers was asking her about Quentin Flynn writing. And I, I guess they never met. They have no fucking idea what's going on. And she was like, who? And, and they were like, Raiden. Oh, is he one of the snakes? <laughs> like, come on. Who? Raiden who? Quentin Flynn who? Oh, is he one of the snakes? Big mistake listening to your favorite characters, voice actors. In real life, big mistake. Don't do it. It's probably much better in Japan, but whatever. Hello. All right, we're going to snake him. Snake D. Let me just get my snake D out of my pants. And now I'm gonna put my snake in my holster for a quick draw. <laughs> oh shit, this is actually kind of dangerous. Because... Damn it, I might die. Uh, I want to wait for the duel, but... The, the truth of the matter is that quick drawing a snake from your holster isn't the f fastest thing. So, usually when we do the duel, I lose and then I snake him. But I might actually die from it now, so I'm just gonna snake him now. Snake him. Found us. And the craziest part is that the snake takes his health, not his stamina, but it still gives you this camel. Usually you can only get the camel by doing a stamina kill on a boss, but it's weird with Ocelot, the snakes take his health, but it still counts as a stamina or non-lethal weapon used, even though it takes his health. 
So now we're gonna get the camel from it. You were lucky. We'll meet again. Sneaking more affecting than holding. Hmm, there's a camo. Yeah, I guess it is. Because holding is not a permanent solution, sneaking is. I actually tried doing that, Nemesis. Only Ocelot takes damage from s snakes and other shit you throw at him. I tried it with all the bosses. Disappointing. You can't do it with others. <laughs> they all get killed by a snake. Hmm. Technically. God, the pain's gonna be a little annoying. I didn't pick up the life medicine, so maybe... There's one right ahead, but you have to, like, roll into it. Otherwise, the, the loading screen triggers. Or maybe we, we could just completely destroy the pain with the AK if I don't care about doing no kill. It's actually pretty satisfying how quickly the AK takes down the pain. Yeah, fuck it, we'll just do that. There's life medicine, but you have to roll into it to get it. Yeah, between the shotgun and the AK, the pain is gonna get fucking obliterated. I caught you at last. We are the sons of the boss. Ha! I am the pain. Ha! Nice moves. To a world of anguish beyond your imagination. I am the pain. You will experience pain. Boom, dead. Hmm, the death of these characters. FIFA, what is that? I, I, I don't want... Just tell me which topic you're covering this time, because I'm not listening to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Already in second phase. Twenty-five ACP versus seven sixty by thirty-nine. Yeah, no, you're gonna lose. So what is that AI recording about now? AK and we're here too. Ah shit. I wasted too much ammo. If it was 
Just for a couple of misses there. Could have probably ended it. Ooh, nice. He's giving me a free target. The grenade just vanished. <laughs> the bullet bees were still going. Ah, uh, that's the colonel. Okay. But what is he talking about? Because I kind of want to play on stream, but... The pain. At least... Give me a hint. I don't know. Alright, fuck it. Let's hear it. 18 seconds of Colonel. Right in. Put your dick on the game console. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, there's even a codex sound in there? <laughs> Uh, right in what now? Hold on, I'm not sure I heard that correctly. Right in. Put your dick on the game console. Right now. What did you say? The mission is a failure. Cut the power right now. What's wrong with you? Don't worry. It's a meme. It's a meme. Just like usual. You'll ruin your eyes playing so close to the Steam Deck. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, so you, you went the extra mile. You mixed in some of the actual audio from the game with it. <laughs> God, imagine the potential for this shit. What an age to live in. Especially now that I'm tired. Anything's funny. Was it really eight years ago? Holy shit. The fucking bats walked into the claymore. Sometimes they do that, dumbasses. Good job, bats. I got a little concerned there as soon as the colonel started talking about dicks, but I guess you can say dick on Twitch for now. You should make one with Zero talking about, I don't know, Skull Phase or XOF or some shit. Skull Phase talking about picking up shit. <laughs> The potential is limitless. Disgusting. Ah, pretty tasty. Rock cap, let's go. Guess we're not sniping the end early. I'm just three from Skull Face perspective. Shit cleaner. Maybe we could actually give Big Medic some fucking lines now, yeah.
right and put your dick on the game console right now. <laughs> Get your hands off me. I'm not going anywhere. Really now? How many times must I tell you? time you resist, your lover will suffer the consequences. Is that clear? Vulcan. Damn you! Hold it right there, traitor. Let's find out just how lucky you are. Watch closely. guns has a single bullet in it. I'm going to pull the trigger six times in a row. Are you ready? Uh. hasn't run out yet. There's no such thing as luck on the battlefield. You'd better stay in line from now on. The Cobras will take care of him. <sighs> Has the CIA dog been disposed of yet? Pain is dead. What? He may be a child, but he's definitely one of yours. I fear Khrushchev may have a hand in this. We have no time to lose. You must eliminate him before the final test. Don't worry. They'll be able to handle it.
I'm leaving him to you, the fear. The old man is always sleeping. Is he all right? The end is saving what life he has left in him for battle. Normally, he's dead. But he'll wake up when the time is right. And when he does, it will be the end for the boy. Yeah. Sokolov isn't worth your love. You can entertain me until the rain stops. Kuwabara, Kuwabara. <sighs> Clearly the fear also has tape in his shoes. 60s tape. The sorrow, is that you? Alright, we're gonna blow shit up. Even hurt the end a little bit. <laughs> guy turns around instantly when you do that. And the end is just hauling ass. HQ, please respond. <laughs> and I guess I'll put this guy down. Enemy position. We probably had time to get all, all the way there to you see him. Oops. That beeping noise is kind of pissing me off. Excuse me. Um. Yeah. Hey, can we please stop beeping? If I put on DPM camera, it's gonna speed up the recovery, but we, we're probably really close to it stopping. Maybe another tick or two. Um, shit. One more? That guy's about to wake up, man. Not really, actually. Enough beeping. Ah, fuck it. We'll get there. I really should have just switched the DPM. Oh, there it is. No more beeping. Nope, never mind. I thought it stopped. It was just a loading screen doing that. Should be pretty soon, though. That worked. Oh no, person whose name I cannot read. Thank you for the 12 months resub.
Oh, I'm not sure if it's percent based, meaning if you have more health, does it take longer for it to stop beeping? I don't know, actually. Thanks, Dim. <laughs> I don't know why I stopped there, I could just roll through it. The calorie Maid is actually a time paradox in this game. Calorie Maid wasn't invented until the 80s. Also, they changed the flavor to the shitty maple one in the HD edition. Uh, we can do... We can do the stupid thing here. Actually, I don't remember. Have I killed any guards before? Ah, it doesn't matter, fuck it. The explosions don't count, the drowning don't, don't, doesn't count. I don't think we, ha we have any actual kills. Oh, we have um the pain as a kill for sure. Once you have one kill, you might as well have a million kills, doesn't matter. Oh, that doesn't wake up the dog. It shouldn't. Come on. So if I don't care about kills, one of the things I'd like to do is... Okay, just a second. Imagine that you open the door and you see this. <laughs> and it was that moment that he realized he fucked up. Yeah, we killed Kaz. Huh? Ooh, and the balls. Here we can see what I was talking about in action. Where you can sidestep literally in front of somebody and they cannot see you. Meanwhile, you can shoot them in the face. It's kind of OP. Right here in this corner. I can be here and I can do this and it's like, hello. The hitbox doesn't actually shift. And I'm just one and two if you do that, I see you. <laughs> do you miss the beeping? Beep beep. What was the other choice? Boop boop. I don't know. Uh, you disappoint me, viewer. This is HQ. What's going on? Oh my god, where could he be? Position is unknown. Going into alert formation. Okay, bye. We're definitely going to do the thing on the way out. There, John Fox. Thanks for the 35 months. And yeah, we've got to go fast if we're going to do all of these in one sitting. If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. Put that thing away. You'll spoil my drink. 
No, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. <sighs> You're crocked, aren't you? I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him? Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system, a bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank, a robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear? <laughs> but I won't be used so easily. No, no crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes, Sokolov's pathetic shagohan pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. A tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But the fool's in charge. Joe Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? The Philosopher's Legacy. Haven't you heard of the Philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Volgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, they somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. 
The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now. My money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohad project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they moved Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagohad is there too? Of course. Hey, you're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. You passed through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Uh... This key... will open that door. Beyond that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door, and head for the mountains. Got it? Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. You must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! To capitalism. Alright, time to do the thing on the way back here. Might take me a couple attempts just because it's silly. What's that one now, FIFA? I'm afraid. I'm always afraid of the slings now. It's a Drebin story. Oh, we did Drebin? Interesting. Is it shitting parrot? Alright, let's listen to Drebin. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna lose my shit with this. We can actually make Drebin stories now with Drebin's voice. That's amazing. 
Shitting Parrot was from the war-torn country of Italy. It is Shitting Parrot. <laughs> shitting Parrot was from the war-torn country of Italy. Her town was invaded by soldiers when she was a small child. They captured her and made her choke herself and her family while shitting. Then they fapped her and left her for dead. Out of nowhere, a parrot came in and killed the soldiers by hanging them. After the soldiers had killed some pregnant women, she tried to stop it, but the parrot was unstoppable. <laughs> there, was, though, there was no parrot. She was consumed by her shitting. Fighting you cleansed her soul and ate a snake. <laughs> sounds a little off. I want to say his voice sounds a little deeper. The AI sounds a little deeper than me. the actual Drebin voice. But, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it would work better if you give it more samples, maybe. Window boss fight. Come on. Fucking window. The window got me. We got it too late. Fuck it, we gotta do it again. Fucking hate that window when they do their shit. You have to roll at the exact angle for it to break, and sometimes it's hard. Nah, let's do it again. I have like maybe two or three attempts to get through the window before it's too late. Shit. How nice. You can give Shading Para the real grabbing voice acting story now. <laughs> Shit, I think I fucked up the timing. Yeah, definitely. Now the scientist is gonna be an asshole, isn't he? Oh, still got it. Boss fight again. Got it first try now. Alright, now be very quiet. That's where his balls are. As you can see, the croc tap makes you completely invisible. <laughs> FIFA, you should make one where Rebin admits that he was the one to torture all the, the BMBs. What the Just the crocodile and the grass. Don't worry. What percent of the game? Uh, that's a good question. Probably about 
40. Well, we could go by the hours left. Let's see. Let's say six hours was I'm just one. Eight hours I'm just two. Oh. Uh, so that puts it at 14 hours. So we're like three hours into MGS3, which is also the seven to eight hour game. So yeah, 40% sounds about right. I was right the first time. I didn't even need to do the math. <laughs> Did you know gaming? Did you know that did you know gaming subs to this channel? Good to see you. Thanks for the resub. Which game has the longest cutscene? Easily, I'm just four. The beer! The cheese! Yeah, we're cheesing the fuck out of him. Brazilian wandering spider. The real one? Soon, the most exquisite I don't know, why don't you ask him? Your, entire body. your limbs will be paralyzed, your lungs cease to draw breath. Eventually your heart will stop beating. Ah, but what fun would that be? Not a beating yet, little. The boss's apprentice. I will give you fear such as you've never experienced before. Hey, did you know gaming? Can we make a did you know video about Phantom Pain where I list all the fucking bugs and nonsense in it? Like, did you know that every single Intel file has a picture of Kaz on it? Because they were too lazy to make another model. Or did you know that you get the tape about Skullface's death two missions before it happens? Or did you know that the skulls will, would um, endlessly shoot the dumpster with Miller in it? Can we? Please. I will pay you. Give me a chance to expose all the fucking nonsense in that game. <laughs> it is a legit did you know video. Did you know that Eli takes no fall damage and likes to run in circles? Did you know that soldiers don't fucking react to a goddamn tank bumping into them? <laughs> Did you know that sometimes the soldiers would just float on top of the guard towers? Did you know that the guy in the first mission talks to himself if you take out the guys he's supposed to talk to? Did you know that he can <laughs> flip the switch for the electricity board uh, from the other side of the wall? Come on, I mean, it's le legitimately um, something to know about the game. Uh, what the fuck am I doing here? Oh yeah, we're che cheesing the fear. I need stun grenades. That's what I was doing. I mean, I could go on. <laughs> Did you know that there's fucking Diamond Dogs containers in, in OKB0 because they reused the model? Did you know that Kaz advises you to steal your own resources from your own base? <laughs> oh, did you know that Kaz tells you to destroy your own entire air emplacements? Did you know that Kaz praises you for destroying your own vehicles in the mission where you're supposed to destroy enemy vehicles? Yeah. <laughs> or what else? God, there's so many. We could make a legit video out of it. Did you know that the game scripts break every time you get too close to a prisoner during interrogation? 
Oh, fuck. I don't even have the game in front of me. Right? If I did, yeah. Did you know that there's a 45 caliber automatic revolver? <laughs> did you know that there's Soviet 556? Did you know that you can share ammo between a 7.62 and a 5.56 rifle? Uh, it, I, this is amazing, man. You got me thinking now. Did you know that I can't aim for shit because I'm hungry? Dude, I'm doing this just, just off of my head. I have a list somewhere. If I had the game in front of me, I could literally stare at the mission list and go through every mission and tell you what's wrong with every mission. I'm just if he's full of amazing details. <laughs> Did you know that you can call Ocelot while you're in front of Ocelot and there will be a second Ocelot speaking on the radio? Did you know that I can't do this fucking warehouse on the way back anymore? Uh, let's just use the camera we just got. It's kind of good placement for it. Now it really got me thinking. Imagine that. Now even if we can't aim for shit, I can just brainless my way through this. Patrol here. My god, look at that aim! Okay, now that's too much. I, I forgot how crazy the fucking aim gets with no stamina. Ah, oh, shit. I actually kinda need to stop those guys now. What a fucking mess. Because I didn't bother eating. What's wrong? Huh? Oh shit. So I guess I actually never tested this before. So even though the um, So the spider camo should fix your camo index at 80%. But the game has a mechanic where if you're throwing something, your camo index goes down. Look at the camo index while I'm throwing the magazine. Wait, what? It doesn't. It shouldn't. That's what I thought, because this fixes it. But with any other uniform... Then how the fuck did I get spotted? Okay, so 25... Oh, maybe it's only grenades. Hold on, that would make more sense. Wait, what the fuck? I'm getting confused now. Yeah, see, with the grenades. It doesn't do it in magazines, it only does with, with grenades, that's interesting. So when you throw things, your camo index goes down, so that you can't just stand in front of somebody and throw a grenade in their face. But since this camo fixes your camo index at 80%, I thought I wouldn't do it, but... Yeah, it still does it. Interesting. I guess we'll just roll with whatever the hell is going on right now. <laughs> um... Eat some maple calorie, mate. I'm pretty sure that's what got me caught earlier. The um, camo index going down for the grenade. Oh, that guy wasn't even in a caution. That's weird. How is he not in a caution? And he's the one with the radio, so he didn't call for backup either. That door is also very confused. <laughs> okay, that was a very unusual way of doing this. The truth is, I was still thinking about Phantom Pain shit.
Snake, are you there? Eva, where are you? In the fortress, in Groznygrad. Dr. Sokolov is here, too. Is he all right? He's fine. Right now he's busy putting the finishing touches on the Shagohod. Good. That means they haven't killed him. Not yet, anyway. But you better hurry. They've already finished the Phase Two tests. Once the final preparations are complete, they'll have no more use for him. The Colonel won't have any qualms about killing him if he thinks the CIA is closing in. Eva, you can't let Sokolov out of your sight. I know. Oh yeah, let's do it with Kiefer's you know AI voice. Get sued up the ass. That I should be able to get there from the mountains to the north through an underground. Jade Martian, dude. Thanks for the 39 Random. months. Yeah. You too. He even gave me the key to the warehouse. Why? Because he was drunk, I guess. You've got to be kidding me. Hell if I know. Snake, there's one problem with that route. What problem? Oh my God. The entrance to the underground tunnel that leads to the fortress is sealed. You need a key to get in. A key. Beefer, I need you. Gave me. That key won't work. But don't worry, I'll figure something out. I have an idea. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. Meet me there. The top of the mountains. Got it. Wait. There's something else I've got to tell you. Now what? I heard that one of the cobras is waiting for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. He's a legendary sniper called The End. Yeah, I've seen him before. That ridiculously old guy, right? Don't underestimate him. He's known as the father of modern sniping. Is he alone? No spotter? None. He's all by himself. Apparently, he doesn't need a spotter. You can't be serious. The entire forest is on his side. The forest? Stay alert. Yeah. I'd hate to have it be the end for me. Is FIFA here? I have a request. Okay, I need to find that image. You guys know that 4chan green text of fucking Kiefer going to Game Awards with Kojima? And that hypothetical, very hypothetical scenario of Kiefer being drunk? We need to get... We need to get that done in AI voice with Kiefer and Kojima's voices. Please, please, for the love of God, do it. Yeah, Dim knows what I'm talking about. You found it? Perfect. Eat the bats, whatever. There it is. Las Vegas has got to be a mess. Please welcome to the stage, Kiefer Sutherland. Chief Keefe stumbles on the stage, barely making it to the mic. He is clearly intoxicated, with vomit stains on his collar. His shirt is slightly unbuttoned and wrinkled. He's in a cold sweat. And big slosh. Kojima is nervous. He's twiddling his thumbs, avoiding eye contact with anyone in the room. Big slosh lost a lot of money at the table last night. Jesus, my head is killing me. We'll make diamonds from asses. Diamonds like rocks, like a lack of my whiskey. Vomits on stage. Blah. Kojima musters up some courage. Uh, Kiefer Sama, you okay? Would you like to sit down? Fuck off, pajamas, you can go play video games or something. <laughs> Kojima cries for being told off by a big Hollywood actor. Quiet. <laughs> oh, God. So there should be three voices. There should be Kojima, Kiefer, and like narrator voice. Maybe throw in some quiet. Big slosh lost a lot of money at the machines last night. <laughs> you suck. At the pachinko, I guess. God, we should really do that one. Can, we can slightly uh, change it, improve it. Boy Baker must be the yeah, narrator, yeah. X minus is for the 70 months. Chief Keef.
Uh, interesting that I was in 2014. My uh, ground zoos was already out. You. Grant me the strength to take this final prey. Let me linger in this world just a little longer. I have already slept enough for one lifetime. Enough for an eternity. You have... It's actually the other way around versus... It was Emma's mom who seduced Otacon. Thank you. See, Otacon's a victim in all this. If you hadn't shown up, my sleep would have been eternal. The end bobbed the fuck out of that Mosin. Do you hear me, Snake? I am the end. I am here to send you to your ultimate fate. You'll make a fine quarry for my... No, they never really explain why he uses tranquilizers, but they just state that he does. And it's actually more annoying that if he just were to kill you. Because if you, if you uh, let him put you to sleep, he takes you back several maps back at Gr Granin's lab. Which is worse than dying and just hitting continue. Sniper you were talking Maybe about. it's because the, end. He's a legend known as the, the way the fight the works, I've got experience sniping in it's in three areas with loading screens in between, the so they can't just have you die in one area. I see. Well, you start, I don't know. I'm not sure. Now, maybe the checkpoint is the first area anyway. He should be lying in wait for you in one of those places. Sounds like this may take a while. It'll be a test of endurance. Be careful, though. From what I've heard... The end has an almost supernatural knack for camouflaging himself. So, whoever moves first loses. This guy's over a hundred years old, though, so I should have the advantage in terms of stamina. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Why's that? I've heard that his body is photosynthetic, like a plant. What is he, some kind of monster? On top of that, he can speak to the forest, too. So, in other words, he knows it inside out. Uh-huh. But he doesn't know you. I'm sure you can beat him. Don't worry. I intend to. I remember being very confused when I first played this. Not because of the nature of the fight, but because there were fucking loading screens in between. Like normally anywhere else, a loading screen means, you know, the fight is over. But. I remember being really confused that this is the same fight going on in three areas with loading screens in between. I'm like, what the hell? I changed areas and the fight is still going. Come on. Oh shit, I'm already hungry. Hey, welcome back, May. Sounds like I was talking to you like five minutes ago. It feels that way to me. <laughs> it's odd seeing people going to sleep and then coming back and I'm still here. Like, did I just see you earlier? You really do lose all sense of time and space while doing these marathons. Uh, I'm not gonna have three stun grenades, oh well. Clearly the best weapon for the sniper is the cigarette spray. Um, I have enough... Um... Supplies to, um... To uh, maintain 
myself during this, but yeah. <laughs> right now, around the 17 hour mark, is when it really sucks, because my, my body's trying to put me to sleep and trying to accept the fact that we're not going to sleep tonight. So that lasts a few hours and then, you know, second wind, as soon as I realize that I'm not going to sleep. Nah, it's just one all-nighter. I think everybody can pull an all-nighter. Every once in a while. If you do it all the time, yeah, that's... It's kind of fucked. Um... Alright. Freeze! You... Thanks, Blue Point, for making the Sig Spray OP. Can't see or hear shit now. He's thrown grenade at me, but he's still here. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna end the fight here. Nice. He might be already looking this way. Uh, no. Okay, cool. Oh, he's looking that way. That's kind of weird. <laughs> he noticed. Spirits of the forest. I thank you. The boss would be proud of you. The time has come for a younger generation to rise. I've been wandering for more than a century, and now my journey comes to a close. What a splendid way to end it all. I have no regrets. I can return to the Forum Allah. Somebody was cosplaying the end. Hmm. Doubt. When people do that and characters have like a signature gun, I will scrutinize the absolute fuck out of their cosplay gun choices. <laughs> Most people don't bother. They're like, eh, let's just get something that remotely resembles a gun. This character has a gun? Whatever. Grab a stick. Like, no, you better have modified that Mosin Nagant to have a pistol grip and a folding stock and a scope before you can cosplay the end. Sorry. <laughs> I will judge you. Yeah, I want to look at it. If they actually bother to do that, then that's respectable. Yeah, 
Yeah, I always judge cosplayers and their, their, their gun choices, yeah. It's the first thing I look at. Oh, good thing we got Ocelot's armor. Uh, armor. <laughs> Uniform. Otherwise, we wouldn't have anything useful here. Now, it looks a little um, furry, but it works. No, it's, it doesn't play the song in reverse. It really should do that. Snake Eater featuring Snake Stomach. I'm gonna eat this rat alive. <laughs> God, I have too much shit in my backpack. Or I have too much shit in my inventory. It It's too heavy. So if I put it in my backpack, it won't be heavy anymore. <laughs> Logically. Oh, you posted it, me? Let me see. I'm actually kind of interested to see somebody bother with it. Wow, okay. Cool. He has the wrong scope, but... That's actually kind of nice. Well, he also has the wrong camo, too, but... Was enough. Even did the little thing on his forehead. At least it has the the, the grip and the, the stock. <laughs> Come on, you can get a PU scope. Okay, let's see. PU scope for sale. Let's see how much they are. Maybe they're expensive. Eh, there's one on gun broker. Okay, they're 400 bucks. Maybe he didn't want to commit. There's a PU scope, 400 bucks. What the fuck? There's one on Amazon. What the fuck? There's a PU scope on Amazon? It's also 400 bucks. That's fucking weird. But, okay. I didn't think it would be on Amazon of all places. 
That means you could buy it, go to the convention with your cosplay, take your pictures, and then return it after 30 days or within 30 days. See, if you were really committed, you could do that. It's on Amazon, dude. It's easy to return. <laughs> oh my god. That's, I'm actually really glad I looked that up because that's fucking weird. Here, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm even gonna link it in the chat. That's incredible. There's a PU scope on Amazon. Is it a knockoff? This can't be a real genuine thing. Oh, it, it's a knockoff. Okay, it says copied exactly from a genuine. Okay, it's not a real. It's it's a copy, but it's still four hundred bucks. <laughs> they don't ask questions when you return shit on Amazon. Just don't do it all the time. Yeah. Amazon Moist Nugget. Yeah. Okay, okay. at least it's a copy. It's not a... Because that would be crazy if there was an actual Russian one on Amazon. Who knows, maybe... It's it's still more effort than I thought it would be. Oh yeah, that was actually good. Nugget Prime. Tricks, thanks for the 91 months. Oh shit! Hey, Ichiro, thank you for the 10 gift of subs. I, 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 I knew I heard something going on in the background there. Thank you so much for the 10 gift of subs, guys. Enjoy those free subs. Uh, Elite JKD also with 21 months. Death Dog with the 54 months. Oh, you also resubbed. Hey, Chiro with the tier 2, 13 months. Thank you so much again. Moist Nugget. Unmasked Hyena is, is not a 22. But yes, thanks for the resub. Nice roll. This snake needs to fuck off. Oh, this is the snake that fucking disappears after it bites you. Let's see if it does it again. I've had this snake just completely disappear after it bit me. Okay. And... Okay, maybe it was a one-time thing. Does he know that I use the serum and he bites me again? Yes, he fucking knows. <laughs> That's actually funny. See, if you're poisoned, they, they know and they leave you alone. But the second you take the antidote, you're like, Bitch, I saw you take that antidote. I'm gonna bite you again. The enemy's here? Oh, fuck. Maybe not. He's just threatening me. HQ, please respond. I waited too long and that guy that I seek you see woke up. Yep. He bit me in the ass. Okay, but he's not disappearing. <laughs> this was not worth the caution. Well, I guess I kind of wanted to test that. It was funny. Oh, shit. Now this area is going to be a mess. I should have eaten a fucking snake. I have no stamina. Oh, 
that this shot is gonna be uh, shit. The caution changes everything here. Probably not gonna end well. Yep. Well, at least there's no more caution. I just gotta get that first shot. Which with half stamina is gonna be a little annoying to do. Okay, there we go. Red Tans, thank you for the 58 months. Zero, thank you for gifting the sub to Devil Cloud. Just because... Why not? I'm gonna keep the furry camo on for this. Yellows, thank you for the 61 months. I'm still looking at that guy with the cosplay. Maybe, maybe he did at least make an attempt at making it look like the actual scope. Well, that was quick. Another real problem with his cosplay: his beard is long enough. Rest. I'll be fine. It's just that playing these two roles hasn't left me much time to sleep. Where'd you get those cuts? The colonel. He found out. If he knew, I'd be dead already. No. This is his hobby. He's a sadist. He gets pleasure out of making people suffer. He's scum. <laughs> Does it look that strange to you? No. I'm the same way. Scars all over. Can I see? No. Where'd you get this one? I got it after defecting to the Soviet Union. I don't think so. It's older than that. Code breaking is a desk job. Where'd you get this kind of scar? You really want to know? Hmm. Well, too bad. Hmm. A girl's got to have some secrets, you know. But enough about that. You've got to get going. The phase two trial of the Shagglehot is about to start, and it looks like someone might be coming to spoil the party. Khrushchev? His forces are on their way here. The Colonel is gathering his troops together to meet them. If we don't get a move on, the security will be even tighter than it is now. You'll need this key. It unlocks the door to the underground tunnel. Once you're in there, you can follow the tunnel to get inside Groznygrad. Better take these two. They should come in handy. And take this too. What is it? The food of the future. A well-balanced meal for the space age. It's good to eat some real food once in a while. I'll bet if I kissed you, you'd taste like a wild beast. Do you know where exactly in Groznygrad Sokolov is located? He's in the heart of the fortress, the weapons lab. The weapons lab is divided into three wings. There's the east wing, which houses the research facilities. Then there's the main wing where the weapons are assembled. That's where the Shagohat is. Finally, there's the west wing, which is connected via a passageway to the main building. That's where Sokolov is. To get in, you'll have to enter the main wing from the east wing. Then, go through the passageway on the second floor of the main wing. The west wing of the weapons lab. Got it. There's just one problem. Not again. 
The West Wing is protected by the highest level of security. You need to be Colonel Class to get in. Colonel Class? Here, look at this picture. Major Ivan Rydenovich Rykov. Not pictured as Volgan grabbing Rykov's like junk that. here. But that's actually what's going on in this, the bottom half of that picture. The full thing is he's grabbing Steal his junk. Clothes. You look similar from behind. They won't know the difference. Your face might be a problem, so you just have to figure something out. He should be somewhere in the East Wing. All right. But how am I supposed to escape once I get Sokolov out of there? Command said you're supposed to have something ready for me. And I do. There's a lake 30 miles north of here. I hid a wig there. A wig? It's a state-of-the-art ground effect vehicle. A ground effect vehicle? I can't fly one of those. That's okay. I happen to be an excellent pilot. Taking off from a lake is trickier than it looks. It's not like riding a motorcycle. You've got to be more delicate. Of course I will. You've seen how good I am with the bike, right? Right. You handle the escape then. I'll head for Groznygrad. Wait a minute. There's something I wanted to ask you. What? What's the story between you and the boss? She was like a mother, and my master. And your lover? It went deeper than that. Deeper? Half of me belongs to the boss. Do you love her? No, nothing like that. Do you hate her? Does it have to be one or the other? Love or hate? Between a man and a woman? You bet. For ten years, we lived and died together. You couldn't possibly understand. And you think you can kill her now? <sighs> That's your mission, isn't it? Assassinating the boss? Snake? Is there anyone you like? Someone special? I've never been interested in other people's lives. You were interested in the boss. She was different. Really? How do you feel about me? I should be asking you the same question. Me? I can fall in love if it's part of the mission. Even with you. <sighs> Snake? See you around, Snake. Take care of yourself. What about you? I've got to hurry back and play my other part. Are you going to be okay? Not sure. They're not stupid and they know there's a spy. There's no way you could have gotten this far all by yourself.
before I could get it out of him. Was it the spy then? Look at this. A transmitter? Exactly. Planted to keep someone informed of his location. <laughs> This mean Granin was the spy? Perhaps he was being used by someone else. Perhaps. This man was our comrade. Comrade or not, he's of no use to us now. I don't approve of your methods. I don't need your approval. I'm in command here. And that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you gonna do? Report it to the authorities? This is war, Major. A Cold War, fought with information and espionage. We must root out spies wherever they hide. It is kill or be killed. Potential threats must be weeded out. Your feelings are a menace to the unity of our organization. Someone is guiding the enemy's hand. A single man can only accomplish so much. Make no mistake, there is a spy among us. But casting suspicion on our own comrades... The C-3 explosives have been stolen. You think it was the American? No. He could not have reached this fortress yet. Then... who? I'd be careful about suspecting your own men. Boss! Where have you been? The fear and the end have fallen. Damn it! <laughs> CIA dog? That leaves only the fury. How can the legendary Cobras be beaten so easily? He's good. Fallen for him? Don't worry. I'll take care of him. What is he after? More than just Sokolov. America is out to destroy the Shagrahat and get its hands on your inheritance. The Philosopher's legacy. <laughs> Impossible. The legacy, it... Then they're out to kill me as well. Colonel, tighten the security on this place. He's coming here, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get the Davy Crockett. boots make sure you polish them up properly
He's just mocking him here, doing the gesture back at him. It's sicky. Thanks for gifting the sub to Battle Axe. We got a new Prime sub from Dynamite. Did I say that right? Thank you. Glad you enjoying the stream. Welcome aboard. All right, time for the one thing that approaches some semblance of difficulty in this game, thanks to Blue Point. The Fury, the Furry. Now with double speed moving flames, thanks to the double FPS. Red Tans, thanks for gifting the sub to Globe Trotting Guy. Davy Crockett is the nuclear launch tube. But the boss still. Nice roll. Okay, we should probably change now. Something satisfying about doing the Fury, which is in 1911. Looks canon too. I'm you, and I'm just four. I am the fury. The flames of my rage will incinerate you. I came back from space. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. And do you know what I saw there? Fury! A great and terrible fury at being alive. Now, you're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible That's a spicy question. What's wrong with Andrews 3? Um, what was the politically correct version of that again? I forgot already. Have to get in my fireproof box. Oh, you asshole. I shouldn't have to stay there.
actually hit him instead of the barrel. Nice. Boss. This is the end of the Copras. You've got to live on. You're the only one left. I'm off. To join the Sorrow. Control, do you read me? I'm coming home. I see the earth. Yes, Kojima, you watched the burning. We get it. A few too many times. Boy, I don't know if it's the correct time now for an MGS3 rant. I went over a little bit when we started the game. And I think the more politically correct version... ...of what I don't like about MGS3 is that... Certainly, even if you think MGS3 is the best thing in the world... ...you must be aware that it's a huge deviation from MGS1 and 2, right? I think we can all agree on that. So basically the things that I like him just one two for are completely crushed and heavily dumbed down in MGS3. Let's just say that. I don't like that it's a game made to um to appeal to that crowd that complained heavily about MGS2 back in the day. I don't like that every game in the series starting with MGS3 is about basically Kojima's failure to pass on the series. So, and we, we could go on about that for ages, but that's a long story short. MGS3 is a dumbed down game for people who didn't understand MGS2 and complained about it. And in a sense, it's Kojima giving in to, uh, what the, the crowds and the masses and Konami included wanted. So suddenly, instead of the games being about, you know, whatever life lessons or messages or whatever else, experiences and things that might come from Kojima himself, which is what MGS2 and 1 are about, largely. Now it's about how people bitched about MGS2 and didn't understand it and weren't happy with Raiden and there's this huge subtext about it throughout MGS3. MGS3 being made as pretty much an apology for MGS2. And actually we're about to find Rykov and one of the things that really pisses me off is how um, those lines from MGS2's ending become a joke. A lot, a lot of MGS2's themes and original intent, since it failed to be to be passed on properly, becomes a joke. How the boss fails to pass on her, God, the FPS, to pass on her legacy, as such is, is the same thing that happened in the series with Kojima failing to pass on 
series. Yeah, the entirety of Raikov's existence is perhaps the biggest telling factor of that, but there are other things just scattered throughout the game. <clears throat> So while these games are always made with some sort of um, autobiographical aspect to them, I'm just wanting to are kind of untainted in that aspect while everything else after that is influenced by, again, people being unhappy with I'm just you and Raiden and Kojima failing to pass on the series and all that. So as a result you get a dumbed down story and you get the themes of the other games in the series reflecting that. Hey, look, guys, I'm just here as a joke now because, yeah. We gotta ride that fine line between laughing with the people who didn't understand M just 2 or didn't like M just 2 and laughing at the people who didn't like or understand M just 2. It's just constantly straddling that line. Ah, we should probably change. Yeah, basically, that's a good way to put it, Project Logan. You're right. <laughs> Crying internally. Oh shit, people are making fun of my other game where, you know, I wanted to actually um, have some thought-provoking things, but yeah, people don't like questioning reality or any of those themes, so... Here, you wanna be a badass action hero? You wanna be Snake again? Here, let's laugh at Raiden and, and I'm just use ending together. So that you're happy. Never mind what I was trying to do because it failed miserably. I mean, Rykov is literally gay because people were bitching about Raiden being gay, so... Here it is. It really makes me sad when you interrogate Rykov and he repeats Raiden's lines from M. Just Two's ending as a joke, yeah? What about the Philosopher's Legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you... Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the Colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't! Oh! <gasps> Hmm. 
Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me, the Shagahods. <laughs> exactly. The final preparations for Phase 2 are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium-range ballistic missiles. Shut up, Sokolov. You strapped a rocket to a tank. Uh, <laughs> he's trying to make it sound cool and technical. The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shago Hawk. Well, so lots of people don't realize this, but snakes are complete dumbass in this game. If you do the optional calls, you'll see what I mean. But I get that the Shago Hawk is supposed to be in fear, but damn. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagahod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagahod itself. Volgan's a complete dumbass. Stink is a complete dumbass. In phase two, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagahod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? That's enough to strike anywhere. All you States. need is a runway. Not only that, three miles. The Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohod as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a Cold War is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to How will you know where it will exactly hit? The perfect word to some eh, you just, affairs. you just chuck that missile but in the general direction the of the US, yeah? Far beyond the level You'll hit something. Threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohod will be at the center of it all. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But... 
just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow... Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3? You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Vulcan's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh no, she is Volgin's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Now I remember, your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the Virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. Hmm. <sighs> No. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me. Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the US? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there, but even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day, I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Please, watch over my family. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? 
but a greasy freebooter. Fairy disguise. It's gonna rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Stay out of this. See why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? Of course. But first. I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. <laughs> Tell me! Stop it! Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. You'd better start talking. Please, stop this! Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. I never do it. You! <laughs> I guess he's dead. <laughs> hmm. 
Now then. I hope you'll prove more entertaining than he was. But first, let's take a look at your body, shall we? What a beautiful body you have, like a newborn baby. <laughs> but not for long. Well then. Let's get started. What is your target? Is it the Shagohad? Or Sokolov? Or maybe it's the Legacy? Answer me! Who is helping you? Who let you in here? You're a tough one. But even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. Here's where the fun really begins. carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. Now answer me. How much does the CIA know? They're after my legacy. Aren't they? Your real target is the Philosopher's Legacy, isn't it? Yes, yes. Let yourself go. That's what I want to see. It's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. <sighs> Admit it! We're after the location of the legacy! The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? One hundred billion dollars, divided up and hidden all over the world. And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No matter. The Philosopher's Legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. You'll never live. <laughs> What's this? A transmitter? Who's responsible for this? I am. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was gonna be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. It pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances... I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that, but he is your apprentice. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Cut out his eyes. 
I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it! Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras! What is it, Tanya? He suffered enough. Well, well. Why are you protecting him? That smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Stop it! Taking a fancy tour, eh, Ocelot? No. I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. There, satisfied now? Well, that was refreshing. <laughs> Come, we're going to my room. <sighs> so you survived the Colonel's torture, eh? Watching this has made me realize something. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> You got lucky this time, Tatiana. Run! I've prepared an escape route for us. Go out and head west. Pass underneath the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You're... Quiet! Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. 
You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Eva. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. I'll be in touch. What's wrong with her neck is that blue point is wrong with her neck. That seam that you can see under her face, between her neck and her face, that's that's just not there in the original. It's just a thing that somehow came into existence through Blue Point's infinite wisdom. It kind of looks like she's wearing a mask or something, and she's not. It's, that's just not supposed to be there. Who knows, maybe it popped out when they uh, upscaled everything. But the reason that the boss just shot Snake in the leg was to give him the fake death pill. Because if we dig out the bullet, that's what we get. That's one of the ways to escape. Also, we're going to leave the transmitter in for the extra scene. And also, feed Johnny here three times. Give him some toilet rat, too. Nah. You don't want this? All right, three food items. <laughs> I hit him in the head. Hey, thanks. All right, we gotta wait for one more. Doesn't seem like the single action army has the cult logo in this game. It does an M just one. M just two is weird. On the tanker it doesn't. But on the big shell later it does. It's weird. This one just doesn't have it at all. Uh, I don't have the backpack right now to look at it. Maybe we can Yeah, it's just not there. Apothecary 94, thanks for the three months. Welcome back. Oh, here's the frog. Sure, eat the frog. Well, it's your loss. You're not such a bad guy after all. I, uh, I guess not all Americans are dogs. You mean it? Yeah. You know, before the war started, I used to live in America. I even had a, a wife and a kid. You must be pretty lonely. Yeah, I am pretty lonely. Really lonely. What's your kid's name? Johnny. Johnny. Nice ring to it. Really? You like it? Well, if you say so, I'll believe you. Actually, my name is Johnny, too. All the firstborn sons in my family are called Johnny. My dad's a Johnny, and my son's son will probably be a Johnny, too. Whole clan of Johnnies. Why do we have a Cold War anyway? Our two countries used to be such good friends. Yeah, I hear you. <sighs> I just want to see my family again. Must be rough. Yeah. Not as rough as you have it, though. Here. 
I filched them from your equipment when the colonel wasn't looking. It's uh, the least I can do. Well? Don't suppose you could let me out of here. Huh? I can't do that. Hey, don't you go getting any funny ideas. If you try to escape, I'll have to shoot you. I've said too much. I gotta go. <clears throat> so that's another way that we can learn the frequency to call to open the door. And if we have the cig spray, he just thinks they're regular cigarettes, so he gives them back the snake. It's really easy to miss the scene. I didn't know about it for some time, because we have to give him food three times to get the scene. But there's a hint about it if you do all the optional calls here What's with Eva. What are you doing? Eventually she will uh, advise you to feed the guard. And I guess we'll call the frequency. And steal his noodles. Did you manage to escape? Yeah, I'm out. Be careful. In your present state, you're practically naked. You don't have a single decent weapon, and you'll never survive in a battle. Take some time and pull yourself together. Eva says she's recovered your equipment, so rendezvous with her as soon as possible to get your gear back. Use the escape route Eva set up for you. Go down into the sewers through the manhole in the northwest section of Groznygrad. Start out by exiting the holding cells and heading northwest. Well, that's a good question, IG42. I don't know if I would try that. There's all sorts of optional calls here, depending on how long you stay in the cell. They they just tell you more and more about the cell, about the guard. Supposedly the reason that they, they leave your radio and medical supplies is that um, Volgan wants to keep Snake alive so he can torture him some more, you know? Just another... The many dumb things that Volgan does <laughs> in this game. And then if anything happens to Sneak, that Johnny gets executed. So when you escape, that pretty much means Johnny Johnny in this game always gets executed. I'm not entirely sure how the radio helps him survive. The medical supplies I can see, but I don't know. That's that's what they say in a the call there. And that's why they show you that he already has a kid. In that family picture, so that it's not a time paradox when he dies. And then not only they leave you the radio, they also put you in a cell that can be opened with a radio by calling a frequency. Genius idea, for real. Since we have this, we might as well use it. Huh? Uh. Huh? Uh. The dog doesn't care.
That's also why Johnny seems to care if you're sick. Not because he's a good guy, but because he's supposed to keep Snake alive. I'm coming to meet you now. The door at the north end is open, right? Snake? Let me guess. There's a problem. Yeah. What is it this time? The Colonel found out you escaped. He did, huh? I figured as much. Yeah, and now all of Grozny Grad is on red alert. Just my luck. But once I'm out of the fortress... You can't get out. I can't? When the fortress went on red alert, they sealed off the sewers. You've got to be kidding me. I'm serious. And that means the escape route I laid out is... It's sealed off, too. Right. And they just sent a unit out looking for you. Down here? Uh-huh. They'll be there any minute now. You've got to get out quick. But isn't the exit sealed off? You should be able to get out by heading straight north. Book it, Snake. If they find you, you're dead. If you'd like to believe that Johnny made it out somehow, there is some artwork of him in MGS4 being old and everything, wearing a suit to show up to Johnny and Meryl's wedding. <laughs> that was an idea they were playing around with. So there is artwork of old Johnny, Grandpa Johnny, at the wedding, wearing a suit and everything. But they, they didn't go with it. It would have been another recon. Kill my wife scene. It was a one armed man. It was big medic. I've been waiting for this. Nobody interfere.
one of the Cobras. Sad. So sad. A host of sorrows. And you are one of them. You can see that Ocelot has a little adapter around his crown to make it thicker to fit in the chamber, but still. I don't wonder how effective that would be. So, since none of this is real, if we go into the menu, we still have the backpack, which we shouldn't have right now. All of these guns are not real. And any ammo, you can just waste here. It doesn't actually reflect when you get your gear back. Yeah, there's no cult logo on this. I'm going to throw my noodles at him. Here, have a Cuervo. You look a little pale. You need something to eat? <laughs> Heat freezes an attack. Nice. He does think it's an attack. And we do have a few kills, because why not? Shut up. What other game can you say, I threw my noodles at this ghost guy, yeah? Not the psycho ray of jump scare shit. I think the mistakes and plot holes are mostly from the fact that none of the games were made with sequels in mind, yeah? Things weren't really supposed to connect that way. There's a tweet out there, Kojima basically saying, I was making shit up because I was going with it, because I was forced to make more games. <laughs> basically, that's what it says. What blood holes? There's no fewer than four different explanations as to who the Patriots are. Since I'm just to introduce them. Like, eh, yeah. Eh, let's change it up a bit more. Remember Dr. Madnor? Yeah. I remember the fact that um, Emma created GW? Yeah, totally.
Jump scare. The spirit of the warrior will always be with you. Don't be sad. We'll meet again someday. God, I remember watching Lost. I, I think I stopped watching it around the time they found that fucking bunker with the computer in it and they had to keep clicking or some shit every few hours. Like, what the fuck is that? It has nothing to do with it. And then if I remember correctly, wasn't the ending like some crazy, disappointing, random shit? Lost? I don't know. You can spoil it. I don't give a shit anymore, but... It looked interesting at first and I was like, what the fuck is that? Ah, we missed him. The island was purgatory and they all passed on. Are you serious? Jeez, no wonder people were pissed. Snake, are you alright? That was a close call. What the hell happened to me? I remember there was being some outrage about it. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side. So that really was. Something on your mind, Snake? Major. Was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yeah, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with, well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? <laughs> it was their Twitter you. back then? Why don't we ask? Steve? If people bitched about oh, Andrew Stew in 2001, on this guy, pretty sure they can bitch about it lost in whatever the fuck years what? it was. That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Salino Yards. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss. Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Salino Yards. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time, they were enemies. And then what? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah. I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you alright? Yeah. I took a pretty freaky detour. What are you talking about? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. Yeah, I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great, that's perfect. What do you mean that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right, behind that waterfall, there's a cave. We'll meet in there. The cave behind the waterfall upstream. Got it. See you there.
What the hell am I reading? Oh yeah, now we have to deal with the ocelots because I left the transmitter in, but it's worth it for the extra scene we get. Town Assassin, thank you for 64 months. Welcome back, man. Fever and Dim trying to um, post the dumbest and just be shit they can find. <laughs> hey, you guys having a contest or something? Like, what? Your big boss, big boss is Venom. Venom is big boss. I'm big boss, you're big boss, everybody's big boss, fuck it. But I'm out of here. That's <laughs> Kojima's <laughs> heartfelt, deep message at the end of MGSV. Fuck it, you let me be big boss? Whatever. You're big boss now. I'm out of here, bye. <laughs> Guy not noticing me. There you go. That took a while. I'm just gonna eat this poison mushroom here. It might be poisonous, but it still gives stamina, so whatever. Still prevents stomach from making noise. And then we yeet the next guy. <laughs> That's really satisfying, actually. Fever. Find the person who posted that and tell them to seek help. Quick. I'm used to be foreshadowed. Oh my god. Venom is a zombie. I call for a medic. What the fuck? No, no, no. These people are... I'm Tatiana. They're not even grasping at straws, they're grasping at air. Unbelievable. Here's your equipment. Eva, you could use a towel. So could you. We should ban links from never be game over. <laughs> because I don't know. The average IQ of the chat is a stake here. Who is big boss? You, me, everyone, nobody, Kiefer. <laughs> This is now a feet stream. Want some? No thanks. Still better than Nzoya Badiabulu feet. Don't like snakes? Not for dinner. Didn't you have to eat them at the KGB? In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian. That kind of thing. No regular Matahari. The least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? Yeah, you know, Nzoya but you blue nyoka yum pembe bola yamasa. good, but it's my job. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? I wouldn't mind eating you.
When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? Let's see. How about sushi? Fever stop. Sushi. It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly it's made from raw fish. Raw fish? Just the place for my survival techniques. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the comment. Even even the, the people in the subreddit are telling him he's reaching. <laughs> With darkness and silence the night. Snake. Thank you, Snake. What a I'll be your eyes from now on. If never be game over tells you that you're reaching. Uh yeah, you kinda have a problem. Those people who think that Skull Phase is Otacon's gay husband from the future who traveled back in time to stop Huey. I, I don't know. Thank you, Snake. <sighs> don't worry about it. Are you all right? It's not like I can't see. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. Really? Good. Snake, come here for a minute. There's something in here. When did it get like that? Hold still. Let me do it. You know, I've been trained to do this mm -hmm. kind of thing myself. Just relax and let me handle it. Okay. I can't believe how small it is. Yeah, but it gets the job done. Really? Here, lift up your hips. <laughs> like this? Yeah. How's that? You're pretty good at that. Yeah, everybody tells me that. Hold steady, I'm not done yet. There, a transmitter. Uh, is that how they do it in the KGB? Sometimes. Would you rather I did it American style? <laughs> Guys. But how do you know there was a transmitter lodged there? Oh, God. I don't want to contribute to that nonsense. I was going to give you my next best never be game over theory. Maybe you can make a YouTube video about it. Eva, didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. Well, what do you think? The Shagohad's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohad itself. So I should blow up the tanks? That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists had the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted. Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. So what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? 20 minutes. Once the phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it.
Eva, did you get the data on the Shagahod from Sokolov? Yeah. That's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Mm-hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission, either. Helping you out. <laughs> Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. Do you remember when you went to rescue Sokolov? Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohad's hangar. Use this key to open that door. The door right when I entered the main wing? Got it. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Uh, Besides you, of course. I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. I know. Okay, let's go. You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. It's not easy always fooling myself like this. It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Huh. Okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Huh? Oh, this? It's a button camera. What did you do that for? Insurance. To make sure you don't double cross me. Hey. What? You're gonna get wet again. End of a short round. Thank you for the 27 months resub. I was kind of thinking of just flooding, never be game over with the most outlandish, crazy, nonsensical theories. But then I realized that wouldn't make any difference. But they already do that themselves, so probably not much point in there. <laughs> Ugh. You just read that article of what Kojima talking about. Using the Metal Gear name just to get the budget. To do what he really wanted. <laughs> Suddenly, everything becomes clear. And that's why for a long time I thought that he, he really wanted to make the Phantom Pain. Like, genuinely, you know? But it turns out he only used the Metal Gear name to get the budget he wanted or he needed to do what he wanted, which is hiring Hollywood actors. So pretty much Konami gave him the budget because he used the Metal Gear name and then he did whatever the fuck he wanted with it. <laughs> 
We still gotta call it Metal Gear, though. So, uh, yeah, we'll work within those limits. We'll just... just enough that we can pretend to call it Metal Gear, but... Really, Kojima's just experimenting with other shit that he wants to do. But he couldn't have done that unless he had the budget for it. So once you look at it that way, it becomes a lot clearer what happened. They literally told him, we're not giving you money unless you, you use Metal Gear. You know, you can't start a new IP because new IP is not going to get you as much budget. Like, okay, I guess we'll, we'll slap the Metal Gear name on it. And take the budget and hire Kiefer. And do random shit with models and open world that has nothing to do with anything. Ah, uh, fuck, man. What'd you do, Kiefer? What? The fuck am I looking at? I don't know what I'm looking at, but I don't want to look at it anymore. Alright, let's put all these fools to sleep. Here we go. Okay, here's a new conspiracy theory for Never Be Game Over. The Fox engine was created by a group of flat earthers. We've never seen a slope before. Otherwise, how do you explain the behavior of slopes? The main wing hangar. Oh shit, did you know gaming? That will be our secret. That's okay, you only told me in front of 1600 people in the chat. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Snake, I see you've managed to sneak into the hangar. Yeah, the Shagahod's in here. The completed phase two Shagahod represents a grave threat to the West. We can't allow it to be mass produced. Got to destroy it. Cool though. Very cool. I will say that. That's safe. Well, I wouldn't exactly say it's safe, but Khrushchev is a shrewd leader. I can't imagine he'd use it for anything other than deterrence. Volgin, however, is a different story. He's planning to use the Shagahod to turn the Cold War into a blazing hot one. We can't let him have it. Agreed. That leaves just one more mission for you to carry out. The boss. Exactly. <sighs> For now, just focus on destroying the Shagahod. Yes, sir. I'll let Sigint fill you in on how to destroy it. Yo! Like Eva was saying, if you're looking to blow the whole place sky high, the best way is to take out those liquid fuel tanks with the C3. You know there's four tanks in there, right? You have to put C3 on all four of them. To plan a C3 charge, all you gotta do is equip the C3 and press the weapon button while standing in front of a tank. Just like TNT. But uh, make sure you don't plant it in the wrong place. You barely got enough C3 as it is, right? Good point. I'll make sure not to plant it anywhere else. Good, man. And be careful. Yeah, if you think this explanation how to destroy this is dragging on a bit, so don't go using any just wait for the, the bike chase. The I'll keep that in mind. The C3 charges all have to go off at once if you want to bring down the hangar in one fell swoop. So if I were you, I'd wait until after you plant the last charge to start the timer mechanism. All right. I'll make sure I finish planting all four charges before I start the timer. Once the timer's set, you've got 20 minutes until it explodes, right? So make sure you get your ass out of that place by then. I think that's about all I've got. The rest is up to you. Good luck, pal. They're counting on you, Snake. Thank you for the resub, person whose name I cannot read. But thank you for the two months. 
What happens if you place them in the wrong place? You cannot. The game doesn't let you place them anywhere else. If I, if I try to do it here, it's just yeah, denied. Sound effect. I'm just a box with legs. Don't mind me. It's our new prototype weapon. Still looking. Oh shit. Uh, now we gotta wait for this guy to get all the way up here. I could have rolled away. Oh well, now we gotta wait. I see FIFA. How should I put this? I want to explain everything. <laughs> God, I messed up the time for everything. I've got to wait for this guy, too. Hated that guy. you this time. <laughs> Major, I finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. All right, then. We'll hurry up and get out of there. Snake! Why'd you come back?
You're a friendly neighborhood ghost. <laughs> Letting you know how much time you have left on the bomb. It says 13 minutes. I, I wonder if it really is 13 minutes my underground vault. from now. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The philosopher's legacy. This microfilm contains all the information regarding the legacy. You might say that this film itself is the philosopher's legacy. It was the smell that gave her away. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. We found this radio along with her too. Such a fine woman she was. It almost pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. Isn't that right? What was that? Do you have something to say to me? Go to hell! You dirty whore. I've had enough kisses from you. I should have known. Sokolov wasn't man enough to have a lover like that. Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful, yet so deadly. What is the Philosopher's legacy? Very well. I'll explain it before I kill you. During the last Great War, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. The pact was a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. To secure victory in the war, the three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects. Enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the philosopher's legacy. After the war was won, the three countries were to divide the philosopher's legacy amongst themselves. This explains why the United States and the Soviet Union were able to steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. But our great motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rivals. We possess enormous wealth, the most advanced technology, and overwhelming power, assets fitting of our great country. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the Philosopher's legacy. In the confusion that ensued after the war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. The money was divided up and laundered through banks all over the world. Switzerland, Australia, and Hong Kong. This microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. After my father's death, I learned of this secret and obtained the microfilm. 
With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Groznygrad and Granin's research facility. But that worthless fool Granin failed to produce results. I was forced to turn to Khrushchev's dog Sokolov and his invention, the Shagohod. My position in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. But the spy network established by the secret pact still existed. I used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. The boss was conniving enough to see things my way. The world was once one, but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. To do this, we need strength, an unstoppable trump card with enough power to bring order to the world. That trump card was to be the Shago Hod and the Cobra Union. I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shagohod and the Legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Boss, take this someplace safe. Take good care of it. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C-3's been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well. Everything to me. Fight like a warrior, Volgan. But of course. Let me face him. I've been waiting for this moment. Time to get even! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. No more judo, and no more field strips. Stand right there and watch. Got it? Please, Colonel, let me- Silence! Sorry for the delay. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> the 
This is a once-in-a-lifetime battle. Let's make it a good one. But do Hershey's kisses taste like vomit? Apparently, yes, according to a lot of people. <laughs> hey, Three Dog Raid, welcome on in, guys. We're doing a good old just one to four marathon. Yes, that ammo is very useful. Going on, Gore Lab. Thanks for gifting the sub to Fazurio. Eugene85 with 26 months. Thank you. A new sub from Cypherin. Thank you for the prime sub. Glad you enjoyed the stream. Welcome aboard. Shoot him! Yeah, the first phase is kind of very predictable. Why don't you do it? Did you hear me? I said shoot him! Nice. Sorry, Colonel. I'm afraid I can't do that. What do you mean you can't? I made a promise to the. We have boss. a little bit of RNG to the second phase. I am your commanding officer. Yes, shoot electricity. Every electrician carries a gun. As a set, uh, safety Are you measure. Questioning my authority. But of course. <laughs> nice. It's like my favorite Volgan line. Fight like a man, Volgan. Volgan. As much as his character is a dumbass, Volgan's voice actor does a good, good job. Ocelot, find those bombs! Repeat, explosives have been detected. All non-EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Move it! Huh. Wait, no one? Oh, with channel points. We had some democracy going on there. Some more snake. Time to die. Ooh, that counter attack. Come on, uh, he's in this mess, annoying attack. That's not how bullets work. I 
I mean, thanks. Thirty nine four months. <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> he stopped for a second to punch the air. Things with 58 months. Oh, he pooped out his ammo. <laughs> that was a real finisher. What's up, Jay Cash Mini? Good to see you. We fought things for six months. <laughs> that pole smells like a dim boba. How did you? I like taste, so no. let me go. Boss, but why? I'll tell you later. Right now, we've got to get to the lake and escape. We can't leave yet. I've still got one last job to do. The boss is already at the lake. Huh? She's at the lake. She's waiting for you there. Waiting for me? I was hoping I wouldn't have to tell you. I don't want you to fight her. But I... I've come to realize that there's a special relationship between you two. Something I can't understand. Something that goes beyond a man and a woman. I envy you. Really, I do. I guess I just can't understand it. She asked me to tell you something. I've never seen someone with such clear eyes. There. I said it. Ready to go? Yeah. That maybe we should go or just stare at it.
I never pick up the M63. Maybe I should start doing it. It's kind of out of the way. Beach Deer, thanks for the 39 months. The single action army is extremely effective here, though. And we'll bust out some other stuff. Conveniently, Eva brought us the RPG, which I also never pick up, but it just appears here. Uh, something's missing. Eh, whatever. But more importantly, we want Cold War camo. Aiming is optional for this mission. So viewer is judging all American candy. Cinematic camera, come on. There you go. Heat seeking ricochet bullets. I'm trying to play a line for a guy that was already dead, so it interrupted. Wrong with American Kit Kats, and I'm curious. Create an SBR. Don't do it. No. ATF would like to know your location. And he still missed. Even with the stock, yeah. Yeah, it's all calculated.
There goes an $8,000 gun. Basically, Ocelot gets his ass handed to him once, and then the entirety of his existence is about proving to Snake that he's good. He wants to impress him, he wants to be recognized. It's very Japanese. After he gets his, ha his ass handed to him the first time, the entirety of Ocelot's existence becomes about wanting to be recognized by Big Boss. <laughs> Matter where I shoot. Oh, <laughs> we got a barrel with that. Never mind. <laughs> okay, now that the enemy is going to be moving as well gonna be less effective, so we'll switch to something else. I'm playing this on PS3. Maximum speed. Fucking up your runway. Let's see, let's go for some cinematic shots. The camera is going to zoom out so far that the weapons will stop rendering. And possibly the characters too, I think. Yep. <laughs> Everything disappeared in there for a second. Damn 
getting down the arrow 20 rounders. Come on. Heavy RPG spam incoming. This is now a belt fed bullpup lever action RPG. <laughs> How does that even work? It's a bullpup muzzle loader. Does that make sense? Uh, get back here. Falling behind wouldn't do enough damage to save even one hit. 